So hello every everyone and welcome back to some more Morrowind here with Vela Zaretti in Twitch streams and later on in YouTube as well. And I think indeed that we will be going and seeing about doing some more Delavani quests this time around. I really should be indeed concentrating into improving our skills quite a bit too. We have a lot of skills that are not nearly where we would like them to be. Restoration, well, block is something that... Well, I can train with someone, but otherwise it's going to come up when it's going to come up. Destructions, alterations, all of these I just would need to be using more. And medium armor, of course, is just slowly increasing. It always is so easy to level up if you have something like a acrobatics or athletics here in the main skills. Like, our athletics is already 58 here, regardless. And acrobatics even 69. 69 but uh, and it, <laughs> I even would have the axe here that we could be using it's kind of annoying when you have three different weapon skills though so do you bring me the rope of the Drake sprite so you want a Drake sprite which is something that uh, Senis Tindo wears and servant of master Kotrem Senis Tindo So it was in Telarun, right? I'm just making sure. Napoli. Yes. Senis Tindo. Not a name that I'm going to necessarily remember, but let's go and check that out, I'd say. Hmm. What would be here? I have uh, some door that I've definitely unlocked, so I guess that's fine. As it happens to be. Hello. I'm just uh, having a look around. Let's just go all the way down. And uh, yeah. Then just heading into the Laroon. The game seems to be loading quite slowly at the moment, but I guess that's fine. Okay, water walking is where? There it is. It's that way, yep. I could also wait until the morning, but uh, I guess I'll just start going that way right now. Yeah, why not? I see enough. Even if I don't see a lot, I see enough. Though, of course, I always could rest just a little bit. It's just a shame that we don't even regain any mana if I do rest here. I would like to rest somewhere in the wilderness so that I could actually gain at least some mana back during that time. I'm not sure I can do that anywhere on Satrit Mora's terrain, so... I guess we're just going to go and enjoy the starry night sky. Hey, can I rest here? Yes, lovely. I found a place to rest, even if that wasn't quite far enough yet. <laughs> yeah, hello Satenten Honantalas, even if we just did talk in Steam a little bit too. But uh, anyways, hello and welcome to stream. How's she doing? At least I didn't exactly ask that question in a Steam, so... There's that. It looks nice. Like this too. Yeah, I'm just gonna take another print screen. Looks definitely a little bit different. And then just be coming into here. I should be probably finding some people also that could actually train my skills. That could be nice. So that I don't have to increase all of them by myself. Like, yeah. All the way on top. Because that's gonna take a while. So lovely. The sun in the horizon. 
Oh, eating cake even. Well, enjoy the cake. For sure. Let's see. Um... This is kind of like a tavern, actually. I thought that this could be something else, but hey, maybe I'll find some person who would like to train me in something useful. Well, restoration I could use, because I really have it very low, still, as a skill, mean? for sure. And I use it relatively rarely. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that probably you can't teach me alteration, so I'll just train a little bit of restoration, just because. It's coming up, otherwise, real slowly. That's 48. I guess that's okay. At least got it a little bit higher. And I can actually even rest and just gain a level up when I'm ready. I won't do it immediately, but soon enough then. Probably after I somehow manage to get the cloak from this place. Okay, so I don't exactly remember the person's name who was supposed to have the cloak, but we'll see. It was neither of you that I know. Hmm. I guess I could do the levitation here. <sighs> Though I always hate trying to go through this damnable tree. Not sure if I'm even, even able to do that. Okay, barely. Finally made it true. And Nora, definitely not a name that I would have been the person I that I was looking for right exactly. You do you know where Drake's pride might be? Yes, that is one of Seni's uh, Tindo's robe. She is in the tower living quarters. Thanks. So helpful of you to tell me all of that. Hmm. So living quarters, eh? Yes, here. Somewhere. Not sure if I should be going and then killing her, but we'll see, I guess. Well, that's her for sure. One of your cloaks. You have two people here, though. Hmm. Not sure if I like that. What would be the things that I even would need from here? It was the restore hell magic might actually be a very good I thing to create for something. Uh, what would I like to enchant so that I wouldn't always have the rest? Um, what sort of rings did I wear at the moment? For to my personality, for to my speech craft. Yeah, that I don't want to be changing. So spell absorption, fifty points on self, constant effect. Forty by Magica is okay one, I guess. Um. Fortify alteration 5 points on self, so I think it would be this one that I would be chasing to be honest Or the other one um, I'm sure I had some ring here that I could be well, It might have been that I actually sell, sold all the all of those ones, but uh, we'll see That's an amulet. I would need a ring to be able to get that sort of a Nice enchantment going on. You don't really have rings that wouldn't be enchanted. Well, I guess this actually works. Expensive adventuring ring, sure. Let's see. Now that we happen to be here. Well, and of course I could be doing these items, but I kind of like the ring idea more. So, a ring. I definitely have souls. Golden Saint, of course, would be really, really good for this, but I'm not sure if I need one. Can I have a constant effect? Yeah. And then if I would have the Resist Magica. No, Resist Magica. Uh, the, the, the other one. Where's the... Or is it the... 
Like, I was thinking about Restore or Magicka, but no, I don't see something like that. Mm. But Resist Magicka could be okay too, I guess. And just like, there was talk about also getting the Restore Magicka somehow, but I'm not really sure how to do that. Well, then the Resist Magicka is probably the best, I'd say. I have like restore fatigue and restore health. That's probably why I got confused because I can have those both, but not not restore magicka, which is a shame. This would cost too much at the moment. We don't have that much money, unfortunately. I would need to go and sell some stuff to the imp in that one location and maybe then I could actually go and do this magnitude. I'm not even sure what the magnitude exactly would do. Hello, the Roy Nasty. Welcome to the stream. And, uh, welcome. Hopefully you are doing well this weekend. You played this a lot, eh? So much joy and ent entertainment from this game. I've definitely played it a lot back in the day too, but it's been a long time since I've really done it a lot well i guess i'll leave it for now then because i'm not sure what i really would want to get into here anyway so i guess i'll just leave it okay well hello sinistindo i would like to get your trake sprite yes this is the trake sprite that i wear it is not for sale <sighs> now is it not so I would need to be going and killing you then. I wonder. It's not for sale. Hmm. But uh, another person wants that that rope. So do you want to lose your life for that? I'm not actually sure. I think uh, it was okay for a Telvani to kill a Telvani without actually getting into real big trouble but uh, it's just that I can't talk to her at all for sure about this so it's a bit not really sure not really sure I like to be doing this if I really go and attack her well I'll at least save before so that and we'll see if Yes, I'm I'm right here, Barus Venim. I wouldn't need to kill you. That's for sure. I'm just kind of would need to kill this other woman or this woman here if I want that cloak. Walk with virtue, Outlander. <sighs> Do you have any good spells? Um, so the intervention, righteousness. A lot better shields than I have at the moment. Absorb, absorb health. Hmm. Some good ones, sure. Well, I'll try and see how that goes. Will I be gaining a bounty on my head? Yes. How Welcome, friend. How you doing? Are you doing? Yep. Prime, at least. Air crime has been reported. Hmm. Yes. But there was been no people to actually witness it anymore. Did they truly already tell there that, hey, this happened? Well, you would have a lot of scrolls on you. Levitate 500 points for 60 seconds on self. Well, that's quite a lot. For 60 seconds, nonetheless. Quite of a good levitation. But, uh... I'm not sure about if I want to do this. Maybe I should be leaving this quest undone then. Because, yeah. I'm not really sure if we want to be going into this. Are you... In Telfur when... Where the corpus room is? No. I'm in Telarum and the... Person from Satrit Mora Tower. The... 
Delvani master there wanted this robe that she she had on, which is uh, it is actually a pretty nice robe. I might even love to keep it for myself with the fortify intelligence and resist fire 25 and reflect 25% for constant effect. But uh, yeah, he wanted that robe, so I'm just not really sure. Hmm. To keep or not to keep? Uh, I think I shouldn't keep it. I don't really like just going and killing her. But it just didn't seem that there was other options. I'm not sure if there is other options for actually getting that item. <sighs> or this rope off from her. In all honesty, it would even be a better item for us, almost. Well, it doesn't look as nice as our own rope, though. So... Now I even became over-encumbered. But yeah, I don't like just killing someone. Looks like a Tamriel rebuilt mod fixed the world map. I haven't played the game or used the mod in a long time while. Yeah, it's, um, of Welcome course, friend. I've been playing this Are game for quite a while. So I've been playing like uh, about a year in this Morrowind specifically. But yeah, I don't have uh, the newest mod for sure. I think there was even more area in here as a possibility. But uh, yeah, otherwise I think it looks just fine like this. Is it possible to pick pocket? I don't remember how it works in Morrowind. I think it is, but I don't have any skills of such things, so I highly doubt it would be possible for me to actually do no matter how much I would like to. So, of course I can try, but I highly doubt that's gonna work out. I doubt it's gonna work for me. Didn't have really very good invisibility potions even. Can I make an invisibility potion? Not sure. I don't remember any of these freaking ingredients. What does what? Bitter cream leaves apparently can do invisibility. What about something else? Then... Do I have another item that could also do it? Ah, diamonds can do it, sure. Let's create a couple of potions of invisibility. I can do that anyways, even if I wouldn't be keeping this. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you were able to pickpocket. It's just that um, I really suck in something like that. So my sneak is level 7 after all. So, it's not very good. Not very good at all. Where's the invisibility potions? That I just created. That's that invisibility. Oh, they just haven't stacked yet, at least at this point. They only for six seconds to all of these, which kind of is very annoying. No, well, I can, so to speak, but she's wearing that freaking cloak, so what am I supposed to do about that? Unless I should be waiting until she goes to sleep during night, but that's not gonna happen, is it? So, <laughs> I don't really think there's other options than just killing her. Which kind of sucks. Well... I don't really want to be killing people. Anything that might give you chameleon. Uh, some stuff, but not really anything that good, I'd say. Not really a lot. But yeah, that just doesn't seem to be working out very well for me. Let's just do it then and visit this person, because I don't remember what he would, on the other hand, want us to do. The person ruling this place. 
Where is this person actually even who lived here in Telarun? Doesn't seem that he's actually in here. But I don't remember what would be the right way to go to him then. Maybe through here, check a little bit again higher up. If we can find something there. Yeah, that seems like that's a place I should be going then. Seems good. Upper tower. Very good that you like good company. Very, very good. So. Oh yeah, I just happened to be killing this person. That's that's what happened here. I guess I might as well kill his servant too in that sense. But um, <laughs> the guy is already dead anyways. Because he didn't want to be voting me to become the... DDT Hortator, so that's why we killed him. So, hmm. So I could, in that sense, very well just kill everyone that he has living here. But uh, I just, I just don't like to be having a pandium ahead. Sucks. Could I be? Hmm. If I would have some item that would damage health. What if I would sneak an item like that onto her and would she die onto that? <laughs> That's my question. I have no idea if that could work. It would be funny though. Would you want to do a damage held item? What would I enchant then? Maybe the amulet. So, servants inherit the sins of their master. Of course, yes. Absolutely. Really don't need that good of a soul for this if I really go ahead with something like this. Uh, I can't have it as a constant effect, or maybe I can. Self... It's just for cast when used. I can't hi have a constant effect. That would be nice. <sighs> Fine. Then that definitely couldn't work, could it? There's not really anything else that I can consider doing that would somehow work here. I don't think so. Yeah, just just let it be. Uh, as such, I guess I could consider doing a levitation item on my for myself, but uh, yeah, just let it be for now. Then I do consider going and trying to kill her, though. Still, I would just have a couple of thousand gold pieces that I would have to basically lose if I did that. Because I would be getting the about 2k bounty because of killing all three of these, basically. Which would suck, unless I can somehow avoid at least attracting that one last person into here. That could be nice. Like if I attack from here, she so wouldn't be able to at least see me, I don't think. Yeah, good evening, Tayunta. Welcome to stream for you too. Welcome to stream. I'm just like considering indeed killing her, but uh, I don't like the idea, but there's a person who wanted the rope she has, so that's kind of the bad thing. She has something that we kind of want. Well, it definitely seems that you wanted to come too. Well. And I would have to, about 2k bounty. Hmm. How have you guys been? Well, okay, I think. Okay. Do I have items that I have stolen? That's a great question. 
Because that's pretty much the thing that I would have to take into consideration if I go and just want to pay this freaking bounty off now. <laughs> Do I have a lot of items that I've actually stolen with me? I have no idea. There's definitely one of the guards in here somewhere. But, uh, not sure. Okay, let's at least heal ourselves a little bit. But yeah, I'm doing okay. What about you, Tayunta? How are you doing? Hopefully well this weekend. Hey, there would have been a chest. Would the item be here on the chest? Now I have to be asking this sort of a question. When I already kind of did that. Killing them. Be nice. And uh, let's see, open anything. Let's see what's in. Fiend Spear. Eh, guess that's okay. Devil Cephalov Helm. Hmm. Absorb willpower. Fire barrier. Frost Teeter Rope. Cast when used only though. Resist Frost. Red Despair Amulet. Resist Frost. Nah, nothing that special and definitely not the item that I'm looking for, unfortunately. I have no idea what I've stolen. Well, I've definitely stolen this, I know that. So if I would be going and paying this bounty off, I definitely would need to be leaving that here. Just leaving everything here. At least all of this type of stuff. At least I can go and just take them all from here easily enough, so that's at least good. So, that's something. This seems like such a waste of time, to be honest, but, uh... Mm. This game cracks me up sometimes how you can sometimes get caught stealing a spoon from some person's house in a real remote location, and everyone in the world instantly knows you are a spoon thief better <laughs> than the internet social media. True, very much. Very much so. Uh, also, the first time that I got caught doing something bad was trying to sleep accidentally in a bed in a coast fence uh, place. As in a bed that I shouldn't have tried to sleep on and everyone got real mad about that. And yep, that's so true. Very true, Roy. I think it doesn't matter if so they steal some of or take some of this stuff from me like the potions or the ingredients. That's okay. I would hate to be losing these, but I don't think I should be losing them, but just in case, I'll leave the alchemical stuff into here. Is there any books that I really don't want to lose? For sure. Well, to be honest, I don't want to lose any books. Sure. Let's just leave that there. That should be pretty okay. It's not too big of an issue if I lose some scrolls. To be honest, I think there's actually the couple of maps or something that I would need to drop here if I don't want to lose them. Maps of Delvani Isles and that. Then these probably I should drop if I don't want to be losing some of these gems because I definitely have stolen some of them. This is actually holding a lot, this drawer, so that's nice. I can just leave everything here and come and pick it up after I've taken care of this. At least, hopefully. Doesn't matter really if they take some of this stuff. So, then it's more about do I want to also leave the equipment that I happen to have on pretty much right now. I don't remember what of this would have been stolen. Most of it definitely isn't, but is something stolen? 
Hmm. To be honest, let's just also leave this uh, in the there almost. Um, I think I'll rather use this just sauce. At least I'm more efficient with it if I have to be in more battles. I think that that should be okay. So I'm carrying 350 at the moment. I'll just save into a different spot and we'll test it. Because I really would prefer not to lose anything important. So yeah, 350. Oh, you wanted to also fight, fine enough. Um, actually, do I have to? Can I just go to the guard? And stop fighting you? I'm not actually sure if that works. Well, they are... I'm getting very warm, eh? I'm just looking for a guard. <sighs> Filthy sweet. Pay gold. I accept this gold in payment for the fines and compensation ordered by the court and now you are free to go. I would have lost something. Um, am I lo have I lost anything that I'm wearing? Wear uh, I have the boat of the rings. I have the rope. I have the gauntlets. I have the boots, I have the shield, I have the belt of the Hortator. I have Caius's black shirt, but not the... Did I have something else on? <laughs> Maybe not. I just thought that I had some sort of pads too. Is this area smaller than it used to be? Possibly. I have no idea what it might have been that I exactly lost then. I definitely lost something though. Especially in Ophelion, I mean, holy shit, does the word get around there? Yep, it truly really does. I just... I have to check one more time if that was truly everything. That I didn't at least lose something really important. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't have lost anything really important. Well, actually, didn't I lose this amulet? So I definitely should then just be put in this amulet at least in here, I think. I think I lost that. And then I lose just some potions or uh, ingredients and such, or books or something. And that's not too big of an issue. But that, that would suck if I actually lost that item that amulet so I think that was definitely the better option please don't get stuck here again just wanna jump down if I can that is you're facing severe problem with ocarina of time at the moment by the way I'm so hooked on the game but I don't want to go forward because I think there's only one temple plus the final boss left yep <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, when you really love a game, <laughs> books are not an issue. Well, because I don't have any books that I really think that are not that necessary for me to keep if I there was something else, really, basically. But yeah, I definitely understand you, Tayunta, in that. Like, when you're playing a really good game, you don't want to get, like, then the experience is over after all. So yeah. But definitely didn't lose anything else in here, so that's important. But yeah, I didn't have any books that I looked through that would have been important anymore. Or something that I couldn't lose. They're probably ingredients less potions that I lost. At least that's my assumption. Go away. You still don't like me at all. By, by your actions, you have lost the trust of the Great House Delvani until you make amends, except no favor from me. <sighs> what was that? But I did this for the one counselor, so that's kind of the issue. I did it for that dude. I didn't do it because of my own purpose. He wanted the freaking cloak. Not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be like that. You like you haven't done anything in the Delvani ever bad. Truly. 
fine, fine, whatever. I'm doing this for the one Telvani guy. So don't you start with me. Well, I left you alive. You should be very happy about that. To be honest, I could have killed you too. But I chose not to. Okay, let's get all of our freaking stuff back. So, I was wearing the one specific ring or the amulet. There it is. No. Well, this is the ring of the Hordador, yeah, but that's not exactly the thing I was looking for. Um, divine intervention. Amulet of light. This is the thing, yeah. Spell absorption. So that definitely I want to equip immediately. So I think that should be okay. Mm. And from the very beginning there's a clear objective so I know all the time where in the game I am. Yep. Yep, I understand you, Tayunta. For sure. Okay, and you had at least some scrolls that I definitely could be taking for myself. Though, I have the problem that I'm pretty much carrying too much already, so there's that. Guess I could take that. Light I love. Night eyes I also love when I don't have illusions myself. Recall I don't really need or the soul trapping. Eh, I guess I could take this. I definitely have to go and sell someday. I probably have to go back home and just have a look what exactly do I want to keep and what do I want to go and sell away and everything like that. For sure. Was there anything... Hey, aren't these different items than they were before? They're definitely different items. There was no team on Katana last time around in here. I'm sure of that. And I don't remember anything like this in here. Peacemaker. Is there anything that I would want, though? Eh, not probably. I don't think so. I could check the that a area, though, quickly. You're having uh, some issues now, for sure. I can clearly see that. Hello, Scrub Lord, and welcome to stream for you, too. I hope you're doing well. And Chim Chim, welcome to stream Chim Chim as well to the stream. Hope you are doing well, too. <laughs> yeah, I just know this is Snowflake for subscribers. Indeed, isn't that a lot nicer than the star that it used to be? I think it's a lot better. Yeah, you are a little bit missing out on the streams lately, then Scrub Lord, but it's okay. I hope you are still able to watch them as often as you can. Sus, I hope you enjoy them. And yes, time to make this, of course. So, thank you, Tayunta, for the snowflake. I think I will go and unlock this too. It's like, why not, when I happen to be here. And then I just need the restore magicka again, even if I have to be using another one of these very big potions. There we go. Let's have a look. Doesn't seem that there's going to be a lot of interest in here for sure. Especially when most of the potions are pretty bad. So I'll just leave them. Unless I uh, open the lock. Yeah, I don't think I need any of this. So, yeah. Let's just, let's just get out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Jim Jim. Or, well... Nimeten lahjoittaja. Unknown person gave the subscription to Sare. Hmm. 
Is that then Jim Jim or is it someone else? Well, thank you the unknown person who gave the mysterious gifts up. I have no idea who it would then be. There's just a ghost picture given there. So, I don't know who it is. For sure, even though I could assume it would be Jim Jim because it's usually Jim Jim, but I don't know. Ah, Gide, you ruined it. What? <laughs> what did I do? Who could it be? Could literally be anyone. Yeah, Jim Jim. That sounds a little bit suspicious, though. I don't know who I am with uh, in a fight with, but uh, yeah. I'm still going to assume that it's Jim Jim, unless someone else claims that. But anyways, thank you very much, the mysterious person who gave the gift. So, thank you kindly. No, I don't know who it was for sure at all. It's just a ghost picture. I don't know. I just always assume that it's Jim Jim when I see that someone else, like Sara, gains the subscription. Because I know that Sara wouldn't be getting it. So, then it's like, well, hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's a Christmas miracle. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe. I don't know about that, though. Christmas spirit gave the subscription, eh? Welp. We'll see what this guy says in the tower about this. <laughs> we'll just give it, uh, give Jim Jim the credit nonetheless. Mm. Finn's claim Santa Claus lives in Finland. Yeah, of course. Of course he lives here. Where else would he live? Where else? And yeah. You were really trying to think up a good joke to the mysterious thing, but failed so hard. Well, to be honest, I wouldn't know what to say about that as a good joke either. So... It's a good question. But now you can have the snowflake too. Woohoo. So that's nice. Can I jump this? Thank you. <sighs> Back to Telnaka. Check out this place. No, I had the freaking water walking on. I thought that I had already switched into the levitation for some reason. But no, I hadn't. I'm not bothering you. I'm just here. Not bothering you in the slightest, truly. Do I have any more charges left on this sword? I think I do, so I'll just use that then. For the moment. And hopefully get all the way on top before it runs out. I'm like always worried that it will be running out, but I got here. I'm sure whoever did it just wanted to see more of the sub icons kicking around. Yes, yes, Team Team. There's a story, another Santa's. Uh, there's a story of another Santa as well. Rumor has it that uh, he flies through the night sky with a sled pulled by magical kangaroos. That's just a folk tale, though. True, Tayunda. Very true, for sure. That's literally what we thought as kids. <laughs> I'm Murican, but I'm always looking to press up on my Aussie Bogan slang. Alrighty. Hello, Nelot. I do happen to have it. Oh, is that the robe of the Drake's pride? Yes. <sighs> Were you expelled for getting me the robe? How unfortunate. I will take care of this for you. It's the least I can do. And take these ten tricks for your trouble. Wow. Ten tricks? Really? <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks then. But yes, I was expelled in teeth because of that. But hey, at least you took care of it. <laughs> now then. So, thanks. 
Hello, Flame Rouge, and welcome to a stream for you too. Do you want to, me to do more shows for you? At least you immediately put that freaking cloak on, so I guess that's something. <laughs> I have no more shows for you. Just get out of here, would you? Just leave. So, so appreciative. And I killed people for you to get that freaking cloak for you. And you just... Yeah, just get out of here. At least I guess I can take away the fact that everyone hates you right now in the Telvani, but uh, that's everything that I'm gonna do for you. <laughs> Jin Jin just using all of those flames. And yes, good evening, Flame Rushi. I hope you're doing well. And yes, Jin, god damn it. Jin Jin has taken uh, notes from me and started doing that a lot too now for sure clearly which is uh interesting hmm it's only level 20 lock what is it Sarah? i don't know nothing that special probably i'm not really sure if i can get past you all of these doors are my 20 locks i wonder could i just pick them and have a look if he would have any compensations here for us, maybe. I really suck in being hidden, don't I? It's not worth the risk, truly. It really wouldn't. Nah, I won't be doing it. I'm too bad at this stuff. Way too bad. Though, I would be tempted to when you gotta be doing what you did there, as in giving me 10 tricks for that rope and just say that, yeah, well, at least you don't need to make making more uh, chores for us to be recognizing that you're okay in the Telvani and all that. So, yeah, th thanks just a bunch, Master Nelot, for that. Um... You got the follower alert working, okay. You, that you did. Tayunta. Oh, I love this side gain. <sighs> when the sun is setting. Though, soon it's gonna be dark then, which is a shame. Oh yeah, I should actually sleep at some point too. Shouldn't I? I wonder where we would wanna go next though. That's a good question. Where would I wanna go? Just had to take another screenshot. Um, hmm. But yeah, good that you got that to work in Tayunta. I don't know. Where to? Where would we have more tasks for the Telvani? We definitely have plenty on the other side of the world, so to speak. But did we have a lot in here? Wow, thanked me so greatly and then immediately said, let's just freaking get out of here. I wanna, don't ever wanna see you again. Hmm. A message from Fadenfell. What are these different quests? <sighs> Main gate of Baramu. Where was Bahramu exactly? I think Bahramu was indeed on the other side of this place. Somewhere in here. Well, that's at least close name. Not sure. Where was Bahramu? Hmm. Doesn't seem like I can really have any idea at the moment where that was. Ah, uh, Bahramu. A small desolate fishing village on the northmost isle of the Molek herd. I believe a boat is available from the small imperial charter town of Bal Oera. I shall mark boat on your map. Okay. So, from Bal Oera. Bal Oera was somewhere real here. Yeah. So, Bahram was all the way over there if I would want to go there. So, that's a far away journey. But maybe. <laughs> Yeah, there's only one quote thus far though, which is kind of sad, but thanks for doing that quote again. Well, this quote system seems functional, Jim Jim. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> my personal favorite. No offense. Yes, ah. Uh, there should be note though which game it is, so please add that there. I would be happy with that. Yes, yes, of course. We know why I said it, though. Say something quotable, kiddo. Well, I definitely said stuff, but I don't know what to say now. That would be really good quotable stuff. It's on the feature list. In the future. Well, it could already just be done. But it's okay. Uh, thank you for all the work that you've really done already for it, Jim Jim. Uh, so, how's the Lani Aurel bow? <sighs> Mr. Serena asked me to bring her Aurel's bow. At least I think that's what she was asking. Perhaps I should look for the bow in Coastgate. Huh. Okay. So that would be some reason to go for the Coastgate. But I really don't want to necessarily go there right away. All the way to Coastgate. Even though... Sure. Otherwise, could do it. I wanted to actually have a look into Aurel's bow. No, 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 no. I knew you wouldn't understand. I want a bow that smells faintly of ash yams. Yeah, that, that's what she said. So, how's the learning cure plight? Mount Kalos wants me to tell her three points of cure plight on deal. Yeah, but that didn't for some reason work, so I'm not sure what to do with that. This pass to Eldale. Mm, but this, maybe it was this that didn't work. Anyway, something didn't work. Fools that metal. I confront the temple priest Sephiroth tells when I would just find him somewhere in there. Mission to Shnuleft. Some tumor schematics from the ruins of Shnuleft, which lies somewhere west of Wars. I beat the tr those places, but I would have to then just bring him something from there. I'm not sure how that would then work. I guess I would just need to be taking the schematics that I have back at home, and I guess those one of them might be from there. I'm not sure though, because I think I already took those schematics to someone from the mage's guild, didn't I? So that kind of sucks. Seeds for Faruna. I deliver seeds of the desert siren flower. I have no idea where I could find desert siren flower, but I guess. And then how still when stronghold, of course. In general. But uh, yeah, that's otherwise all of those stages have been done. No. Oh. I could try to go and check with um I don't actually remember the guy's name who lived in here in Telvos, but I guess I could go and visit there and just see if I would happen to have a position or possibility to at least get one level up, so to speak, in Telvani. Maybe with good luck. What is it, Sarah? Okay, there was no game involved with the latter code. Uh huh, Tayunda. Uh huh. Yeah, ordinary shit chat. Mm hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. Yes, that's that's exactly what happened. Mm hmm <sighs> Of course you would be saying that. Of course. Okay, well I'm going there anyways. Okay. Jim, Jim, that you can then implement stuff. But anyways, you don't need to have to worry about it. Yep. These uh, sub icons are very nice, for sure. I like them a lot better than the star. The star was just a boring thing to have. So, yeah. I'm glad that I noticed to, noticed to ask Tayunta to get us something lovely. Lovely instead. Yes, you can even make something different for someone who is a second level and a third tire sub, for sure. They have a different gift sub possibilities. So this would be the ordinary and then there's a different one that you can even do something that you can recognize that someone is a tire 2 or tire 3. So yeah, that's definitely also possible, Dayunda, if you want to make something like that. It's not duration based, I don't think. Well, I don't know. Hmm. I just thought that it was something that related to how 
high of a sub you had in that, but I don't know. Would it be duration based? I thought it wouldn't be. I'll be honest, I'm still kind of a thrill when something wrote, uh, I wrote keeps running for more than an hour. <laughs> good, good. Yes, yes, every sub here is special, of course. I'm just gonna be... Ooh, I wanted to rest. I need to have a level up. I just want barely outside so I can rest a little bit. If any way possible. Okay, finally. Okay, you have ascended to level 27, finally. The results of hard work and dedication always look like luck to saps, but you know you've earned every once of your success. God damn it, I can't get more intelligence. At least I can get 3 to willpower. Well, I can get more to intelligence, but I can't get like a plus something. So I probably will take something else because of that. Maybe a little bit extra speed. At least I got 3 to willpower, so that's something, I guess. We're special snowflake. It says it on the tin. Yep. Then it must be true. Yes, very much so. It is absolutely true. I did, wasn't also sure if this would actually keep the progress from the otherwise because didn't I already like get at least a couple of level of restoration without actually getting the level up so to speak I'm not sure as in I thought that I got extra restoration level up without now getting the boosts from that but I'm not sure I'm not 100% sure I just thought that might have been the case <laughs> still not fortifying your personality yeah well who needs personality isn't that already something that I've said many times who needs personality do you not agree Jim Jim Besides, you have personality for all of us, so it's not like I need it anymore, surely. Hello, Arion. Can I have? No. More shorts. Unfortunate. Um, the other great houses have also built strongholds without the Duke's Charter. While we tell Vani can defend our holdings, the other houses cannot. I want you to visit the Lalu stronghold of Retan Manor and retire the Lalu noble Rainas Retan. Uh -huh. Actually, you've got a quest for us. That's nice. I'm happy to try to go and do this. So it's Lalu stronghold, eh? For matters regarding your tower, yes, but I'm talking about the Lalu noble Rainelsa Retan. Retan Manor is on the Odai Plateau, follow the Odai River south from Balmora, and you will see it on your right. Go there and slay this young Lalu noble. Okay, Arion, you became bloodthirsty a little bit, maybe. <laughs> you know, just that I'm exotic. Oh, is that it, Jim Jim? We need that exotic warmth in here, <laughs> truly. You know I think Finland is exotic, right? Works both ways then, I guess. Yep, for sure. Okay, I guess we can go and do this though. This seems interesting enough and uh, we can do it for Adrian after all. So all the way to Palmora and from there to south for the river and fight this Rethan Manor and slay Lalu Noble. Sure, I'll do that. Of course. Someone is chomping so much. I think it's you. You must be the one to chomp here. So, so much. Jump. Jump. Just hurt a little bit. It's okay. I think I would wanna go then and uh, travel with the bows again. 
assess if I go to Satrit Mora and from there to Meiji Skill, that's at least the one real quick and easy way for me to get all the way to Balmora. So maybe I'll do that instead of traveling all the way to Vivek and uh, going from there, I think. I think that will be good. <laughs> Sometimes you wish that your exotism involved less poisonous spiders and snakes. Yeah, well, I know. It's all good, I'm sure. Yep, that just makes it dangerous. More exotic, maybe even. So, maybe that's better. Ethins are an interesting folk. If you say so, maybe we are. But are some kind of outlier people that don't speak an Indo-European language. It's in the Ukraine family that makes up Finnish, Estonian, Sami, Laplander languages and even Hungarian. Yeah, Finno-Ukrian, yes. For sure it is. Of course, the Ukrainian language, uh, not Ukrainian, um, Hungarian language is way different from Finnish or Estonian, so I wouldn't be able to understand a word that they would be saying because it's completely in the middle of the Slavic countries otherwise, so it definitely sounds more like the language is there. And there's basically like where you can see at least some stuff that uh, where the, it resembles or has some original roots. Of course the way the sentences are built and then just for example there is blood there and uh, in here very is blood. So that's that's basically one of the best like old words that has stayed almost the same in both languages. Okay. Take me to Satrit Mora, thank you. Hello, Xenox. Xenox 001, and welcome to the stream for you too. So, yeah, glad you made it. And your favorite game. Glad to see you then. I think Vince came from east of the Uralia, somewhere in the Siberia. Very likely. Of course, there's a lot of influence from a lot of different places. Like, of course, Sweden was an influence on Finland for a very long period. But of course, the original people that came into here. And besides, um, as I understand, the finno ukrik languages were in Europe before the Indo-European languages arrived. And then they just became the more common languages. They spread into Europe and so on and forth. What I understood or what I think it was, how I think it was. And I'm going to the wrong direction. I was thinking already that did I want to go to the council hall or not, but I want to go to the Mates Guild, so I'm gonna be heading there. It was a fun language to learn, eh? Yeah, I think the theory is now that we came from the Northern Asia. Mm. Yes, uh, James Impl uh, talks Finnish very well, for sure. <laughs> Don't patronize me. Well... <laughs> it was a sincere compliment. Mm. But yeah, uh, I actually just... Uh, before, I uh, happened to also give that link to Sara. Sara could even link that picture that I showed you just before uh, we started the stream. It's funny considering how how we can say like yo a, which of course then like uh, it basically means no, but uh, there's uh, basically a yes and a no in that same sentence. But yeah, it's uh, it's kind of funny. Yay! Thanks for that link. So. People can see that. The only words I know are Perkele, Sauna and Kamos, but I can easily identify it when I see it written. Looks a lot for lots of vowels and umlauts, yes. Well, the thing is that of course A and A are actually like... It's just that A 
in there is said in many different ways, like a uh, uh, cat and so on and forth. So you don't separate those from each others in any way. So. Yeah, and Chinese, of course, is definitely at least a difficult language to learn, for sure. I definitely haven't done a task for the major scale in a long while, but on the other hand, my concentration is still more with the Telvani than with the major guild. Just a little save. Too much time on both private servers, eh? House of Troubled Times. <sighs> Hello, Achira. It's been a while. Can you train me in something useful? I think actually the enchantment could be something that I could be learning because I do have it here as a skill. So sure, that would work. I could try to sell you something. Oh yeah, I can at least sell these freaking things because I really don't want to be carrying them around no more. So you can have all of them. <laughs> Strong Finnish community also in Perkele, eh? Totally. Of course. But yeah, uh, you're doing well, Tayunta, with English. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so you've heard. Tayunta is also from Finland. Like, Saten Tenho is from Finland. And... Of course, Kone Asa, if he happens to be around, is from Finland, and there's quite a lot of Finnish people here. You're surrounded by Finns. Yes. And of course, I'm from Finland, obviously. Okay, do I want to sell something else to you? Or not? Eh, I don't know. I don't know what to sell. That's always the problem. I never know. Can you buy this? No. You do not want them. I guess I can just sell these and be happy with that. Give me a couple of more gold coins. Thanks. Let's train enchantment by just one. That will at least help me a little bit. My enchantment skill is just one little what step forward. So, yay. And yes, surrounded by things. Why am I so suddenly wary? Yes, maybe you should be, Jim Jim. Maybe you indeed should. I was already wondering where you have gone from there, but okay. You're just there. A little bit further away. Step right up, A. I don't know if I really need anything from you. Is there anything that I want to sell? Actually, well, I, hmm, I don't want to sell those which are from the Urshila or some of those places, so I'll just go. <laughs> Soon we will be comparing knife sizes. Totally. Are we talking to Ashira? Damn, say hi for me. <laughs> Love Ashira. Yeah, we talked to Ashira for a little bit. Just a, just a little teeny tiny bit. Maybe I will return to him soon enough to talk to him properly. I just want to kind of get forward with our quest. Jim Jim. Yeah. Yeah, talking, talking English helps, definitely. <laughs> Gotta stream more. Mm. For sure. It's actually into that direction if we are going south. So, that's the way to go. <sighs> I've heard it's not the size of the knife, but how you use it. Uh-huh. Yes, Jim Jim. Yeah, you just have to decide what you would like to be streaming then next. So follow the river. Follow the Odai River all the way and uh, try to find that location. I'm sure we'll get there soon enough. I guess I could be picking up some of this stuff. I haven't picked any of these for a while. I definitely would need to be training more of my alchemy too, though. There's a lot to do. I think that's probably the key for the quest from the fighter. 
place, so or the fighters guild. So I definitely don't care to go there, I'd say. Or it was this place, I can't remember exactly, but I'd remember doing a quest here somewhere for the fighter skilled someday, long time ago. I wonder which side I should be going and traveling on. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You've learned German for 17 years, I had it for 3 years in high school and just learned more of it as a hobby. I never put it to great use other than to help explain a few boss fights when I was in German guild. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this stuff uh, definitely... That uh, German in some stuff is definitely harder, for sure. For sure it is. Every sentence feels like a little exam. That's an interesting way to describe that. Very much interesting way. I think that might be it actually considering it's right there. So I'll just think I'll go back and cross this river again. I'll just use the bridge, why not? Uh, Japanese does have a lot of similarities to Finnish to us, to be honest. Or uh, the sentence structures are similar in some stuff for sure and then they have also the more pronunciation like it's written all the time mostly not always but more than english for sure and they have the double consonants and uh, long vocals basically that they also do a lot of vocals overall vocal vocal harmony is the same as in finnish for sure When they say just say the sentence like it was English. Yep, the gendered words are the ones that I would feel are the most difficult for sure, I'd say. They are definitely the most difficult for me. Well, we are at the Red Hunt Manor, so we're in the right place. Wherever the person is that I need to go and kill. So, who owns this place? Master Arvin asked me to kill Raya Zaretan. I don't think it's any of you servants. Which is fine. You will Apparently you immediately wanted to just destroy me when I happened to even enter into this location. I wonder if I can hit you with this maze ever. I probably have to go and get some extra fatigue. Doesn't seem that you almost got anything done to me though. Well, I'm a little far silence apparently. That you did. Did I have fatigue potions? It's kind of that you wanted to even engage against me, so... Aw, no fatigue. There is no well, I'm trying to practice this for now, and we'll see. Hey, my medium armor skill increased, so that's nice, at least. Now you die. Very slow and painful death. Doesn't seem like either one of us is getting pretty much anywhere, so... Good for us. Well, you are closer to death than I am, which is something. It's not the end of me yet. You gotta do better to actually get me to be at the end. I did well, but not well enough, I could say. So, sorry about that. Let's just restore our health a little bit then. And I guess this didn't even give us bounty. These both are 6,500, so I guess I might go and just sell them at least. If I don't know anything else to sell, I can sell those. Easy enough. Epony darts. Those are pretty valuable, and considering they made almost nothing, I definitely can pick them up. Hey, I can repair. 
Epony arrows. Sure, I guess I can take the epony arrows with me. If I can pick them up. That's my old home. I usually joined House Lalu. Ah, <laughs> so... Okay, now I know. I have never actually been in Lalu, so I didn't know where the home would be if you would be in the Lalu. So, okay, that's interesting that otherwise you would be here. So it's almost like I would be killing your character in a sense. So yeah, I've never actually been really far in Lalu, which is kind of silly. I should have been, but I just always end up into Telvani. Always. Too often. Well, the... Them are some artisan darts. <laughs> yep. Let's at least pick the frost salt. I guess I can get take this all for now. Just a little bit gold. It's fine. Though to be honest, it's okay looking place, of course, but I still like kind of our own place a little more. For sure. Yeah, it's a decent looking place. But uh, yeah, I still prefer the Telvani. I also don't know where the Redoran house is, so that would also be something to see someday. <laughs> In a sense, well, yeah, considering this was also the new person who got into here. Uh, I have to take part in that conversation considering the German language forming sentences is really challenging. It is, definitely. <laughs> Tayunda went and measured my knife. Don't know how much of a fin I am. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Japanese has no genders, articles, almost no plurals, and you can be doing something in most languages that doesn't make sense because it sounds too literal. As I said, like, that's very similar in Finnish, in or uh, honestly, because it's not like <sighs> there's only one word that is. Like, uh, she, he is one word, uh, which is neutral, and it's not like anything is gendered, really, it's almost. Like, sure, we have a daughter word, but, like, that's very minimal in general, what is gendered in Finnish language, on the other hand. So, yeah, there's a lot of similarities between Japanese and Finnish. In that sense, plurals we, of course, do have, but it's... We add stuff into the end, of course, to make the plural... Mm, yeah. Anyways, there's definitely similarities. Yes, yes. <laughs> Puka Puka. I know Taiwanda. I didn't say anything about anything else. You almost are making me think more into that direction, considering you want to specifically point out that it was just specifically the Puka. Nothing else. Taiwanda. Yeah, it's a nice enough of a little apartment, but... Well, I don't really care if you have patience for my questions or not, because I'm not gonna be staying here anyways. I would have to... the supermarket go shoot, if the time would have had. But yeah, it's difficult for me to say exactly how that would work in Finnish, but it's... yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it just sounded a bit wrong already when I was typing it. No worries, Tayonda. No worries. Hmm. I had the Zoom supermarkt gehen sollen, wenn ich die Zeit hatte. I'm not sure if that's actually said correctly, but um, I know somewhat how to pronounce stuff, and I, of course, I know ich bin ich, du bist du, and so on and forth, but that's not a lot of stuff. Ich komme. Um, some stuff, a little bit. Very much indeed a li little bit. Ich wohen ich in all. Um, what else? Wer geht die? Wer geht dir? Or wer? Wer ich nen dir? Uh, how was it? Uh, 
Gettichnen. Ah, goddammit, I haven't used it again, so I'm just wondering. But Ichnen was nonetheless the... Uh, not like a U, but there isn't really. More like a toe sort of thing to say. Sort of. But English doesn't have such a thing anymore in use, so... I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. One. Mm. Yeah, we get there. But that's then. Uh, we get Ichnen. It would then be the more polite way to say it. Yes, how are you doing? Yes, that's what I was saying. But then Ichnen is also if you don't just go and... So to speak, sinuttele someone, if I would be saying it in Finnish, um, as saying someone or calling someone a you, because that's kind of impolite if you don't know the person, supposedly, in German, more so than in here. So. Hello, Ajira. How are you? Huh, should I... I could just go and actually take this quest in first, I think. Maybe I should rest here a little bit. I can actually rest here after all. Easily. So why not? <sighs> this place is infested by these things. Really. It really is. Like all the time, whenever I rest here, these things come. Well, what have we here? They hardly ever come in all the other places, those freaking ass zombies. And I don't even know where these ass zombies are supposed to be. It's somewhere. Fine enough. Well, Satrit Mora, please. An adventurer, I presume. Yes, I'm very much. Imagine if every verb in English had a hypothetical would have form. Germans don't know a lot of them because there are just too many. You can easily substitute have and be as needed to go around it. Mm. And also Morrowind, I guess, oh, technically we search for seven. Okay. <sighs> Please join me. Can't you see? I wish to be left alone. So many different opinions there. Someone says, can't you see that I want to be left alone? And someone, Please join me. And so one just warning me that don't just do anything wrong and, and I don't have to kill you. And everything. So many different things from those people. You can't really do much to help me. Where is that slave? Is then the next question that we heard here. Hey, my acrobatics is number 70, not the 69 no more. I don't remember pretty much anything anymore from German. Last time I had anything to do with it was when I was 12. Yeah, it's been a lot longer time for you than for me, Sara, for sure. Um, well, to be honest, I still would remember Ich bin, Du bist, Ich bin, Karita, Du bist, Jim Jim, and so on and forth. Like, it's just... Uh, that's the one specific little lore or whatever I should poem sort of thingy that I remember from <laughs> the time when uh, I learned German as a 12 year old then of course there's uh, what else was there well Sprache of course is I do know quite a few words but it's just that I couldn't be making sentences for sure for the life of me I couldn't be making any proper sentences Ich bin Chim Chim genau I have no idea, Jim Jim, if the transactions have gone on cheaper or not. Now it's a flat five. Maybe. I really couldn't say. I couldn't say. But yeah, I studied. Basically, I studied on only Germany. Um, was it the two year time that we studied it when we were about. 11, 12 years old, and then I've studied it a couple of times, a little bit, like a, a couple of months here and there afterwards, but that's like almost no time to actually learn it. Well, I remember 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I think, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I remember numbers. Woohoo! I can say numbers. How great. Every date. Just wait one hour so I can have my fatigue back. I don't need to worry about that. <laughs> you can still make sentences, but they're probably 50% German, 40% Dutch, and 10% English. At least you lived in Germany. I think that already helps, Jim Jim. Nonetheless. And yeah, 5th and 6th grades we took German. Yep. I'll just speak English if I need to express a point. <laughs> Here in Murica, we don't learn another language in school until maybe high school, and even then I don't think it's required nowadays. Maybe in other states, hmm. I don't know, but I still think that it should be a nice thing for all the world to have some sort of another language to be learned when you're a kid, because it's anyways easiest to do when you're a child. So, yeah, we started, we started to study English when we were in third grade, which would then be when we were about nine years old, I think. We started to study English when we were nine, and then we added German when we were indeed 11. And then we studied that only for two years, unfortunately, because then on the when we were 13, we had to start study Sweden, Swedish, even though I didn't want to. Well, it was a must because it's still, the fact that Finnish is still a language where both are just as formal languages, Finnish and Swedish, even though Swedish is a very small minority, but it's still something that you need to study in school here, which I was very much against back then especially. So I studied it very poorly. I wish that I would have been able to continue with Germany, really, because I had actually interest in it, and I didn't have interest in Swedish, so it's a little bit bad when you're forced to then study that language, and I didn't want to study even three languages at the same time, because then I would be even more confused with those languages, so yeah. But that's basically approximately it. But yeah, English works well, of course, but I still think that it would be nice for everyone in the world to study some other language too, whatever that might be. Just for... because I kind of feel it gives you more perspective of the world, nonetheless. Learning some other languages too. Maybe it should be something like Spanish or something like that in there, considering. Or what is actually spoken in Mexico? Something like that, maybe. That could be more useful. I don't know. Maybe. Now that children start learning Swedish in elementary school, I think. We had a choice in the 5th, 6th grade, indeed when we were 11 or 12, we had a choice if we wanted to learn Germany or Swedish. So yeah, if we had started to learn Swedish then, that would have been basically better. But all of us were more interested in Germany, so we picked Germany. So yeah, I wish that we would have been able to continue with that, rather than having to change into Swedish. Yeah, we have to take English from 3rd grade forward, Swedish from 7th grade forward, and optional language from the 5th, which could have also been Swedish, but we took German. Yep. It could all have also been French, I think, Kira. Yeah, probably. They speak Spanish in Mexico, but I think it's a bit different from our Spanish. Yeah, of course it's a little bit different, but still almost similar. But yeah, I do think that it helps you a lot, on just overall... There's a little bit more understanding of the world which i do think that everyone should have no matter where you live or how no matter how common english is speaking everywhere i think it's just a good idea to have some other language when you're a kid start learning it but oh well it's not my choice what you guys want to be indeed having in schools in for example um in usa or australia or any other place of course but i just think it would be useful Uh, they speak Spanish, uh, yeah. I took a semester of Punjabi at Community College here in North California, I guess. We have a lot of people from Punjab, India. Mm -hmm. A bit of working is for people not speaking English natively. Mm. Yep, that too. 
but hey, I... Yeah, he's definitely dead. So, Raina Zaretan is no more. You are credit to your house, Felin Zareti. Thanks. <sighs> Even more shores. Well, apparently you have another shore. Now to go and kill the Retoran stronghold owner, so sure. The Retoran stronghold of Indaris Manor also deserves a visit from the house Delvani. Retired the young Retoran noble Pandan Indaris. Fine, let's go and rent <laughs> kill Rendoran noble too. Totally. Good idea. Indaris Manor is built in the Pal Aisra, named after the Rose Stone Stair. You can find it on the road from Altrun to Margan. Go there and slay the Retoran Banden Indaris. So, from Altrun to Margan. So, Altrun is here, and Margan is here, so it's somewhere around here. I haven't actually even walked that bad, so I guess that's good. You can go and walk there a little bit. Which is a skill in itself, trust me. Mm. <laughs> and you're just thinking of French now. Yeah, that would be something to try and pronounce for sure. French is... As I said, I, I didn't wanna... I tried to learn it just like a... Half a year or something. But uh, I really hated the numbers. So I didn't wanna go and learn it any more than that. So... Yep. Didn't do much of that more than recall. Back to our own home. As such, well when we were going into Altrun, I should probably just indeed drop a lot of stuff that I want to keep into here and take with me something useful, as in stuff that I can sell to the goblin guy, whatever the name should be. Let's just leave this uh, at least the two handed sword into here then. It's my very own two-handed sword. As so as I can't even sell this glass park knife, so guess I'll be keeping them with me. Not gonna be using this right now, so I'll just leave it here. Oh yeah, and what I was thinking that I could actually, even if that means more decorating, but I don't think that is actually the Kaios's ring, so I'll leave it there. But that rust amulet isn't anything great. So yeah, I wanna be leaving the Amulets and stuff that have something to do with us being in Telvani or specifically being a Hortador and Neravar into here because I think that makes sense, specifically if we don't want to be using those items. So, this is a ring of the Hortador, which I found or got also as a gift from one place. Actually, that's not too bad to have it like that, I guess. It could be also in there, though. Might be even better there. Depends a little bit if I'll find something else that will go nicely here. I guess. Let's see. Then there would be the... What else? Ahen Musa. I can put into here for sure. That's very bright red for sure kind of nice in there, actually. Yep. I think that will be okay. Yeah, there is okay. This is also from the Urshilaku. Where could I place that, though? It's a great question. Hmm. I do have a space there, too, but I don't think the Urshilaku one will be really... Looking that good in there. Maybe I can place it up here somewhere. But where? Well, there is a space here that might have a spot for it. I guess this could work, maybe. Sorry for all the decorating now that I want to be doing, but just leave these certain items into here. I think it will be nice. That freaking siren ring is there, which I think is okay. The stone of sign up I also want to be put in somewhere, but that's a strange looking item. Where would I want to place that? I guess it could maybe indeed work here. Maybe from a little bit this angle. 
I guess that works there okay, even though this place seems a little bit too full of stuff now, to be honest. So I'm not sure of it. And this place is a little bit closer to there, I think. Uh, what else? I'm sure there was something else. Yeah, where would I put this rope? Goddamn rope. Guess it doesn't really fit into here, for sure. I would love it if it did, but doesn't. Hello, 472, and welcome to stream for you too. And uh, yeah, um, you just came in time for me to go and start to be uh, organizing my decorating stuff again. The shelf is just an explosion of color, for sure. Red works with green. Mm. The house is looking cozy. Yep. For sure. Uh, friends is the reason why English is so crazy, which is spelling, though I speak uh, a Germanic language. Around 52% of its words are from Latin or French. Blame the Normans, Normans for invading England and making themselves rulers. Mm. <laughs> All this language talk is making me consider continuing my Russian learning. Maybe you should. Then that pronunciation, I never know where to put the stress. Mm. The stress thing is really something like which spot of the word you should be stressing is one of the most annoying things for sure with some languages. <laughs> I should totally be playing with the French. Uh, Russian should be interesting and useful to go for it, Sare. Mm. <sighs> it's all stress. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I guess I can just place it here. I don't know where else to really put it, so... I guess it can go here for now. I'm sure we're gonna get some better place for it someday. Some beautiful day. Is there anything else that is specifically related to us being in the position we are? Guys, it's black pants. Why didn't I have them on? I should have had them on. That's what I was wondering, that where did those things go? But they were there apparently. Sanguine smiting. Arion's helper. Freight card, of course, but that's not something we're just gonna be leaving here. I think that's most of the items that I at least have at the moment still with me. I think most of them that I really, really, really want to just leave here. What was the one thing that I was thinking about still? Arian's helper. What does it look like? That's actually kind of nice looking clove. Where would be a great place for a clove? That's a freaking great question. So I'm placing it basically straight like that. That's kind of nice. Huh, it's definitely an interesting looking glove though. It's just a question where would I want to place it. It doesn't fit there, for sure. There's almost a space here, but I don't think that will quite work well. It's like, it's kind of close, but no cigar, I don't think. It doesn't... It's too big. I think it could work there if I just remove the candle and place it under here, maybe. The candle maybe could be going here and then I could be placing the clove into here. That maybe could help. I think that could work. It's okay. It's kind of getting a little bit too full for my taste, though. But it's kind of okay. Kinda. What about the ebony darts? Apparently they want to be placed like that. It's kind of a shame. A pretty big darts though, I gotta say. Ledric arrow. How are you placed? Very much in a way that is going to be very difficult to place anywhere really nicely, for sure. Anyways, no matter if I would want or not. Like, if only I could be placing you straight into there, but I couldn't. In any way, do this thing. Well, actually, that's pretty okay. It's kind of really, really full, though. I don't like it that much anymore. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, they do take the credit, so they could also take the 
take the blame. Mm -hmm. Uh, all those glowy things. I know I made this joke before, but tonight, on a mention of Morrowind's rich and famous, <laughs> you won't believe where this Delvani wizard places her theater carols. Mm -hmm. Totally, she could afford to swim through a pile of moon sugar. Yep. Hey, we have a good way of looking into our place now. I gotta take a picture of my close-up statues, for sure. These are way too good of a... And then our head poking out from there. Just slightly. <laughs> that was a uh, pretty good though, I gotta say. The starting to poke out from there. Let's just uh, not have that though. Sus cinematic, yes, wasn't it? I just I have to wait now. I want to see it again, but uh, so that I don't have my arms just going like that all the time but yeah that was a really cool cinematic work for sure while just standing around hmm but yeah i'm mostly satisfied with how this looks it's just a problem when you get more stuff then you're like well where do i place these things then and you just get more and more stuff so that's a little bit of a problem that's not nearly that good why didn't you do it again I'm just gonna take you closer. Maybe that can happen again. It was so cool for a moment and then you didn't want to do it again. Why? Why game? So, everyone doing well though. So, that's good. Um, how long have I actually... I again forgot to take the clock close to me. So you can maybe do the uptime and show how long we've exactly been roaming in the Morrowind for the moment. Ah, not exactly excellent. I guess I can take a picture from here. What if I wait this to go around? Where does the camera go when it would be going behind those? Yeah, it's a little bit different way to anyway see all the items on show here. So that's something. Almost two hours then. Close by. Thanks for the uptime. Though, both of you doing it at the same time, basically. <laughs> oh yeah, I should implement cooldowns. Yeah, well, it's okay. And there are our lovely skulls visible and everything. <laughs> How is that even possible? Exactly the same seconds, even. Kinepot is mod. Hmm. It's very nice to see all of the snowflakes, though, I gotta say. Are you a special snowflake? Mm -hmm. Just like these uh, subscription uh, batches that you guys have. Okay, let's see how this how does this uh, look now if this goes here. That's an interesting picture, too, to be honest. Then having a look from behind. Do all of the books and all of these items that we have here going a little bit close maybe but we're peeking from there just slightly behind these theatric statues is yeah it looks nice this way it's going around i took another peek I think that's that's really nice. It's nice that it goes like that, to be honest. <laughs> Game of the year. Ah, well, the loot doesn't work now because there's the loot. So, yes, damn it, doesn't work at the moment. I don't have the loot right now there. Yep, that that doesn't work as long as we have the Christmas one visible. So, I'm sorry, Jim Jim, but at the moment that won't work. That is quite of a lava cloth glow for sure though. I'm almost tempted to just actually do I need this thing here? It's just here basically because I didn't have anything better to put into here at the time, but in all honesty maybe I should just be putting a couple of gloves into here now. Because they would kinda look 
uh, be a little bit more special stuff, to be honest. When that was just something that I needed at the time, to be honest. I think that's okay looking. Having the two special clothes here, even the, if that's not enchanted, but maybe in the future. And then having the Arian's helper. I think that's okay. Having something a little bit different than just a little jink uh, sword. To be honest, we could probably read a book. It's been a while since we've read any books. Well, as in, we haven't read any books this session. <laughs> wow. That actually looks pretty nice this freight card, but it's not like I want to be leaving it here, for now, at least. We do not want to be leaving it here. Definitely don't wanna. I could also be repairing some of my stuff, I think. Yeah, I was thinking that things, is, things are probably pretty broken already, to be honest, and so they were. <sighs> Didn't even get to fix them, even nearly all of them. You can program. A game at Diner is a pretty good read. Yeah, unfortunately I've already read it, so there's no point of me reading it again. I even have it here, right now, just like on show for for all to see. A game at Diner. These are the possible books that I can read, that I haven't read yet. So whatever there happens to be. Also, all sort of studies. Banker's Pet. I wonder what kind of a book that is. Lots of poison songs, but I don't have all the poison song books at all. So, let's take the sky lamp, sky lamp night, I think. Hey, that has quite of a picture. Interesting looking picture. I think some of these books are definitely added with the mod, but anyways. So, a sky lamp night, an account of breaking the siege of Tyr during the Arnesian War, as it was narrated by the Honorable Sergio Falchus Sur Eneren to his scribe. Yeah, game at dinner was pretty good. Not diner. Dinner. Yes, yes. Illustrations, though. Um, we stand atop the walls of the tear and look down on the plains where the Argonians have set their camp. In the dark distance, the tiny flickering lights of their torches and campfires can be seen. So tiny that they don't give away the crude fortifications they've built around their tents. And the poisoned wooden stakes lined in a phalanx to face the city or the chain of small rats tied together with a massive wine rope with which they blockaded the mound of the river barren, any ship from leaving the harbour. It is the thirty-sixth night of the siege. Already we are starving. The belt Mary wells have been flooded with burning water the day before, their inhabitants killed. The meat of the lizards tastes like sawdust and mold. The sky lamps are set loose in the dead of night. Dozens of them. No riders, just the animals. The war niches have been prepped by the many clan families of the Deshan. Each cast filled giant painted with the insignia of that family. They also carry words of magic, powerful sigils and daunting letters woven on their lettery skin by the spellbinders of the tear. The massive beast floats silently in the air towards the Argonians that know no better. The master beast handler gives a signal, and a flock of flaming arrows is released on the skyland setting them on fire. The burning beasts cry out in a howl so low it can be heard only barely, but makes your heartstrings tremble. The sky lamps, lamps have been trained well. Even as they are burning alive, they steadily approach and finally reach the Argonian encampment. Then, one by one, they explode and set the night sky ablaze with brilliant colors. One elder clansmer next to me hides his eyes, as for a second he mistakes the bright lights for a day's sun. Down in the fields before the walls and in their camp, the Arconians scatter and look for cover from the fire that has suddenly descended upon them. As we open the gates and storm out to drive out the invader Nah. The dry land has turned into mud. The sky lamps shower down in a rain of violet and tangerine and crimson paint in the world. Rivers of jade and aquamarine flow slowly in the cracks of the earth and form small palette lakes. Across the lakes we dance into battle and clash with the enemy. Sound and color become one. 
White is the sound of a gigantic pale lizard galloping blindly through the mud, roaring with thunderous voice. Light blue is the sound of a group of Argonians ribbing through from underneath the car- carcass of a fallen sky lamp on their way to reach us. Dark purple is the sound of a soul east, soul stealer shaman hissing its curses, conjuring the bones of some long dead reptile to do its bidding. And gold gray are the blades of the brave clan's guard who got the shaman down and hacked the skeletal abominations into pieces. Muddy brown is the sound of an Argonian warrior breaking its neck while trying to frangle itself free from a man-catcher's claw. Blue and yellow is the sound of a fire consuming a hundred barricade rafts releasing them on the merciless river that carries the rafters out to the salty sea upon which no lizard can survive. Far cries and screams of hatred and horror are spewed out cyan and pink. Blood is spilled orange and bright green. The night is black and the battlefield below is a swirling rainbow. Were it not a battle, it would be a mighty spectacle to witness. Truly, a carnival of life and death. The fighting continues all through the night. The colorful chaos is slowly veined by the pale rising sun. Its light breaks through the smoke-filled air and reveals the true and dull grayness of the world after battle. Hundreds of prisoners are taken and the once empty slave pits are full again. The shackled war leaders of old Arnesia are impaled by the steely tendrils of the fallen sky lamps. Their dry skins left colorful like signal flags. We hang them on the trees to mark the new border. Xut Taijiel The Argonians are sti- Argonians still say, accursed sky lamps. I, we who remember the siege of Tyr, say, blessed be the sky lamps of our ancestors. So, sky lamps. Just burning everything down, basically. Morrowind Agent Orange, maybe? There's something else. There's an incident in Necrom. Necrom was the city of the for the ancestors last dead for sure. So we could try to read that too. We did visit there just some time ago. So incident in Necrom by Jonquila Pot. The situation simply is this, said Flaxic Flaxicht. His face as chiseled and resolute as any statue. Everyone knows that the cemetery west of the city is haunted by some malevolent beings and has been for many centuries. Many years now even, not centuries. Why did I say centuries? <sighs> the people have come to accept it. They bury their dead by daylight and are away before Masir and Secunda have risen and the evils comes forward. The only victims to fall prey to the devils within are the very stupid and the outsiders. It sounds like a natural solution to filtering out the undesirables then, laughed Nithrat, a tall, middle-aged woman with gold eyes and thin lips. Where is the gold in saving them? From the temple, they reopen opening a new monastery near the cemetery, and they need the land cleansed of evil. They're offering a fortune, so I accepted the assignment with the caveat that I could assemble my own team to split the reward. That's why I've sought you out. From what I heard, you, Nitrat, are the best bladesman in Morrowind. Nitra smiled her unpleasant best. And you, Osmik, are a renowned burglar, though never once imprisoned. The bald-bladed young man stammered as if to refute the charges before grinning back. <laughs> I'll be- get you in where you need to go, but then it's up to you to do what you need to do. I'm no combater. Anything Nitrat and I can't handle, I'm sure Masita will prove her mettle, Flying said, turning to the fourth member of the party. She comes on very good references as a sorceress of great power and skill. Masita was the picture of innocence, round face and wide eyed. Nitrat and Osmik looked at her uncertainly, patricolory watching her fearful expressions as Flaxicht described the nature of the creatures haunting the cemetery. 
It was obvious she had never faced any adversary other than man and mare before. If she survived, they thought to themselves, it would be very surprising. As the foursome trudged towards the graveyard at dusk, they took the opportunity to quiz their new teammate. Uh, okay. Vampires are filthy creatures, said Nitrat. This is written, you know, they say off to the west. They'll indiscriminately pass on their curse together with a number of other afflictions. They don't do that here so much, but still, you don't want to leave their wounds untreated. I take it you know something of the spells of restoration if one of us gets bit. I know a little, but I'm no healer, said Masita meekly. More of a battle mate, asked Osmic. I can do a little damage if I'm really close, but I'm not very good at that either. I'm more of an illusionist, technically. Litra and Osmic looked at one another with naked concern as they reached the gate of the graveyard. There were moving shadows, stray specters among the rack and ruins, crumbled paths stacked on top of the crumbled paths. It wasn't a maze of a place, it could have been any dilapidated dilapidated graveyard, but even without looking at the tombstones, it did have one very noticeable feature. Filin, the horizon, was the mausoleum of the minor Surantilic official from the Second Era. Slightly exotic, but still harmonizing with the dumber graves in a complementary style called Decay. It's a surprisingly useful school, whispered Masita defensively. You see, it's all concerned with magical's ability to alter the perception of objects without changing their physical compositions. Removing sensual data, for example, to cast darkness or remove sound or smell from the air, it can help by... A red-haired vampire woman left out of the shadow in front of them, knocking a flux seat on his back. Nitra quickly unseated her sword, but Masita was faster. With a wave of her hand, the creature stopped, frozen. Her jaw scanned inches from Phalanx's throat. Phalanx pulled out his own plate and finished her off. That's illusion, asked Osmic. Certainly, smiled Masita. Nothing changed in the vampire's form except its ability to move. Like I said, it's a very useful school. The four climbed up over the paths to the front gateway to the crypt. Osmic snapped the lock and disem disembled, disassembled the poison trap. The sorceress cast a wave of light down the dust shot corridors, banishing the shadows and throwing the inhabitants out. Almost immediately they were set on by a pair of vampires, howling and screaming in a frenzy of bloodlust. The battle was joined, so no sooner were the first two vampires felled then their reinforcements attacked. They were mighty warriors of uncanny strength and endurance, but Masita's paralysis spell and the weaponry of Palinx and Nitra glowed through their ranks. Even Osmic aided the battle. Um, they're crazy, gasped Masita when the fight finally ended and she could catch her breath. Quora, the most savage of the vampire bloodlands, said Flux Fluxix. We have to find and exterminate each and every one. Delving into the crypts, the crew pounded out more of the creatures. Though they varied in appearance, each seemed to rely on their strength and claws for attacking. And subtly did not, or subtly, <laughs> how do I say that? <sighs> Subtlety did not seem to be the style of any. When the entire mausoleum had been searched and every creature within destroyed, the four finally made their way to the surface. It was only an hour until sunrise. There was no frenzied screams or howl. Nothing rushed forward towards them. The final attack when it happened was so unlike the others that the questers were taken utterly by surprise. The ancient creature waited until the four were almost out of the cemetery talking amiably, making plans for spending their share of the reward. He just carefully who would be the greatest threat, and then launched himself at the sorceress. 
Had Plaxit not turned his attention back from the gate, she would have been ripped to shreds before she had a chance to scream. The vampire knocked Masita across a stone, its claws raking across her back, but stopped its assault in order to block a blow from Plaxing's sword. It accomplished this maneuver in its own brutal way by tearing the warrior's arm from its socket. Osmik and Nitra set on it, but they found themselves in a losing battle. Only when Masita had pulled herself back up from the behind the pile of rocks, weak and bleeding, that the fight turned. She cast a magical ball of flame at the creature, which so enraged it that it turned back to her. Nitra saw her opening and took it, beheading the vampire with a stroke of her sword. So you do know some spells of destruction, like you said, said Nitra. And a few spells of healing too, she said weakly. But I can't say Palingst. The warrior died in the bloody dust before them. The three were quiet as they traveled across the dawnlit countryside back towards Necrom. Masita felt the drop of pain on her back intensify as they walked and then a gradual numbness like ice spread through her body. I need to go to a healer and see if I've been deceased, she said as they reached the city. Meet us at the... M Mot and fire tomorrow morning, said Nitra. We'll go to the temple and get our reward and split it there. Three hours later, Osmik and Nitra sat in their room at the tavern, happily counting and recounting the gold marks. Split three ways, it was very comfortable sum. Uh, what if the healer can't do anything for Masita, smiled Osmik dreamily. Some diseases can be insidious. Did you hear something in the hall? Asked Nitra quickly, but when she looked, there was no one there. She returned, shutting the door behind her. I'm sure Masita will survive if she went straight to the healer, but we could leave tonight with gold. Let's have one last drink to our poor sorceress, said Osmik, leading Nitra out of the room towards the stairs down. Nitra laughed. laughed. <laughs> Those spells of illusions won't help her track us down, as useful as she keeps saying they are. Paralysis, light, silence, not so good when you don't know where to look. They close the door behind them. Invisibility is another spell of illusion, said Masita's disembodied voice. The gold on the temple rose in the air and vanished from the side as she slipped, in, slipped it into her purse. The door again opened and closed. And all was silent until Osmik and Nitra returned a few minutes later. Oh, so that's the story. I didn't definitely read everything like this uh, when I was... I hope I didn't miss much. Hey, hello Specky at least. Welcome to the um, stream for you too. And yeah, it is silent be <laughs> Silent bullshit. Mm. Have you them have many qualms? Oh, and hello, Visseneko too. I hope you guys had fun in your stream. I'm sorry, I thought that I would want to be at least reading this book to the end and after that start to be looking into the chat, but you guys have been talking so much that it's difficult for me to catch up. But hey, welcome n nonetheless, Visseneko and Specky and anyone else who would have m maybe arrived. I hope you had, uh, I hope you had fun, Visseneko, in the Max Payne. Weird how deceased sounds exactly like deceased, even though those two words could tra tragically be mixed up. Yep, they do sound very similar. They have subtle different, as we say, subtly different. <sighs> I tried to perfect my mashed potato recipe so that it tastes perfect. Perfect. Hmm. Ah, such words. Well. I know that I will never be that excellent or that perfect in those, but oh well. Unless we read another book through, or actually two of them. So that's something. Incident in Necrom. I'm fine. Yes, I'm doing well. I didn't know I can aim to see you. I enjoy your streams. Good, good. I'm glad to hear, Specky. Is it a lever or a lever? <laughs> yes, that's the that's the big question. 
Which one is the correct way to say it? Lever or lever? Do we read something else still? Or will we leave it here? I wonder when I will find more seven fight books. Maybe someday. So many books. Inside Alma Lexia's tongue sounds very strange, to be honest. I think you can say it both ways. Yes. <laughs> oh, color or color? Yeah. Mm. This isn't actually a long book, so sure, I'll read this one more thing. Inside Alma Lexia's Tongues by Kalasu Sarvo. If Vivek City is the heart of Morrowind, Alma Lexia is its face. Much of what Outlanders know or think they know of the great house culture of the Dummer comes from the capital itself. This can be misleading as Alma Lexia is unique and stands apart from the province it rules in many ways. One of these is the role of the Tongues or honorable societies. Tong culture is not exclusively a feature of the great city, but it is here that it has reached its most diverse and curious expression. Most native residents of the city belong to one of these societies, even if their ties to it are loose and informal. Some groups hold significant power for good or for ill. Most of the more common tongues resemble the cults of the imperial province, in a land like Morrowind, where heresy is not tolerated by the authorities, fraternities form that emphasize one element or another of the tribunal fate without challenging the overarching temple doctrine. So we have the Galan, mathematician Stong, which reverses Sotasil as the divine logician, and whose members devise puzzle in his honor, with which they challenge one another. The Soros, unseen tongue, in contrast, honors the art of water breathing as practiced by Vivek and devotes itself to the study of the skill. The most widely known of these associates is the Morak, Forester's tongue, which venerates Mephala and carries out bloody murder on the behalf of the houses. Occasionally, one of these groups will stray too far beyond temple's orthodoxy and must conduct their rituals in secret or risk the heavy hand of the ordinators. Some of these fraternities are restricted to a particular trade, and in modern times these tend to be indistinguishable from the tradesmen's guild on the west. The guild of chandlers and clerks and the guild of furnishers and caravaners are two examples to be found in the city. Even these secular sounding brotherhoods have roots in the veneration of Morrowind saints. Rather more sinister are the underground tongues which are criminal fraternities and dangerous heretical cults. The Kamona, thankless tongue, strikes threat into the hearts of outlanders and its merits mention, while the Vel Osrun, impertinent tongue, are renowned for their acts of uh, vandalism, both petty and daring. Some of these darker groups may be nothing more than rumor, like the gruesome Isani, Cormets, Tong, which is often quietly blamed for unexplained disappearances but for whose existence no evidence is known to this author. These are the most secret of secret societies and even discussing them is a taboo among polite society. You might be wondering whether the outlander may join any of these ancient dumber brotherhoods. The answer may disappoint. As bulwarks of tradition, most tongues scorn foreign membership and one is usually invited to join by family connections. One or two exceptions exist, however, and many tongues run hostels and flint houses that welcome outlander coin. But remember, when you are under the roof of a tongue, be it a bar, a private house, or a dedicated building, you are subject to their rules and their laws. Dong halls are everywhere in Almalexia and often unmarked as sus, but ignorance may, may prove no excuse for disrespect. Okay, so one more book read. Wherever I happen to place it here. There. That's done. Oh, hello, Sustivi. Welcome to stream for you too. Hopefully you are doing well. Yeah, I definitely won't be able to pronounce everything correctly, I'd say. 
kalastusarvo as kalastusarvo. Uh, that's almost the same thing on the by the way. <laughs> Um, how are you, brother? Mm. So many books, so little lifetime. Yes. Well, we got three more books read, so it's okay. And we hadn't read... Actually, I should really sleep, considering how little energy I got. So let's just do that first before I leave anywhere. But, uh, and I was also thinking that I, when I'm going to Altrun, I might as well pick one of these weapons with me, to be honest. Let's go and sleep a little bit. Let's see, how much is the clock? To be honest, I think I should try just hang around here about 12 hours more so that it's gonna be a daytime. So I don't need to be leaving when it's really gold. What would be something I want to go and sell? Good question. Well, to be honest, the true machine sword, I... Well, actually, maybe I should be leaving. It's always like, I think that, yeah, I'll go and sell this, and then I start and think, well, if I want to put some more Trumer stuff into here, then maybe. That's not actually very good rope, first and foremost. Saint Aralor. Troy shield, sure. Mountain spirit. Patrick Longbow. Should I go and sell that one? To be honest, this Epony Spear isn't that special either, to be honest. Eh, let's go and... I think I like the Patrick stuff more than the Longbow, so sure. Let's pick up the Longbow, and maybe I'll have a possibility to sell it. Maybe. Maybe even. Well, Salmon is very good indeed, South, so I uh, hope you enjoy it, for sure. Salmon is very nice. Okay, let's just get this a little bit bigger, just like this too, to be honest. And yeah, I'm just gonna be heading to Satrit Mora again, sail away from there, and uh, yeah, basically... Well, actually, I don't need to be sailing. I can just go to the Mage's Guild, go to Palmora. And then from Palmora, go to Altron. Or actually, Altron also has Mage's Guild, so I'll just go there straight. From Satrit Mora, that will be good. I'd say. I haven't been using the Mage's Guild teleportation system nearly that much for quite a while, so it's actually good that I'm getting into that again, for sure. What did you expect me to go and mispronounce? Roy, nasty. What did you want me to mispronounce? <laughs> now I'm like having to wonder. Um, well, I wonder what you expected me to be mispronouncing again. I didn't hear her say an owl. Well, I didn't say it with a very clear one for sure. Not that clear a one, one, but I think I still had it a little bit there. But anyways, yeah. I think I did say it there, but it wasn't as clear. Uh, maybe. That then you didn't notice it, but I'm pretty sure I still said it. So I would say that Jim is correct, that I did mispronounce it regardless. Even if it wouldn't have been that clear, I think. I'm not sure though. I don't, I'm not sure if someone is oversensitive about that or not. I don't know at all. Well, Salmonella, of course, then is a different thing. Yes, go away. Go away, I told you. Leave me be. I refuse to accept the Alpine silence. Never heard that before and you don't convince me. 
Maybe I mean, walking stick at you. To be honest, I haven't noticed it being completely silent either. But so yeah, it feels weird to me that it should be silent in it. Well, it's all good. I mean, it's put on our stuff, so as long as long as you guys understand me, regardless, that's basically what is important in the end rather than i say everything 100 percent correctly because that's pretty much not gonna be ever achieved for sure would it work eh, you don't have anything to worry about with your australian accent at least at least compared to me so nothing to worry about for sure you use all these strange words on people. Well, we'll see how that will go when we play Borderlands 2 together. Then then we'll see and other people can communicate and say what they think about your uh, Australian accents. Come on. Climb on. There. Thanks. Like treks. Do you know what treks are? I have no idea what the trek is. I do not know. So far, I understand you all. So far, so good. Yep, so far. <laughs> do I need to do full OC? You could do that at least for an example, for sure. That would be funny. I would be happy to hear a full OC. <laughs> do full OC on stream, please. Yep. Uh, when I was six or seven in first grade. Knife. Mm. Angrily refused to spell things differently from how they sounded. I must have erased knife with the knife a dozen times. I remember I ripped my paper from eraser, erasing so much. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Man, I'm waiting for the Borderlands 2. Yep. <laughs> well, we have still a lot to do in Borderlands 1 before we can get to Borderlands 2, but someday, someday. Challenge accepted. that I need to call my brothers back in Australia to get a refresher, but after that... Okay, good. We'll see. I don't have no idea how long it will anyways yeah, take us, so... I would like to get to Altrun. Thank you. Oh, that's the way to pronounce it. If you say so, Jim Jim. If you say so. Yeah, knife would be correctly to write it how it sounds, pretty much. I would agree with that. Actually, it wasn't here that I needed to go. Um, well, I need to go for the quest, but if I want to go and sell first, it was Caldera. It's close by, yeah, but it wasn't exactly all true. So let's just go and visit Caldera first so that I can get some more cash. And then we'll come here. I completely forgot that it actually was the caldera that I was supposed to go into. So yeah. First here, then I can go to the next location and yeah, we'll be good. Let's go and sell something first at least. <laughs> Knife is spooned before. It was actually a very good parody, if you say so. If you say so. It was uh, over here, yeah. Just need to be looking around the place a little bit first before actually being sure where I needed to go. Not here. Korak Manor. So this is good. Apparently you have company here, Creeper. I'm creeping. Yes, you are creeping. So, you got 5,000. What can I sell to you? That uh, would be logical. I probably should only sell to you, to be honest, the Deadly Colombo, because that alone will be like way too much stuff. So it kind of sucks, but what can I do? Unless I leave it for now, but um, after all, it takes 24, so it would be nice to get out of the way, anyways. And rather buy stuff like this and sell it somewhere else, I guess. 
Ah, God damn it. Arians Dominator. Mighty Plus. Amulet of Levitating. <sighs> Fine. Well, Zeller Max at least. Well, it's something. I can always try to return to you in the future, I guess. And I can try to sell for this blacksmith close by and see if he wants to buy anything. Though he probably doesn't. Mm. <laughs> you could buy a small kingdom for the price of that longbow. Yep. And still no one has the money for it. No one can pay me enough for it, so it's quite sad. Quite sad indeed. At least you will have 1,300 so I can sell you something. Let's see, what's the best thing to sell to you then? Probably this thing. It takes relatively a lot. Then I can just buy these to repair my armor and stuff, at least. <sighs> Not that that's almost anything. To be honest, I would always be able to do the same stuff. Oh, well, I'll get this stuff from you, I guess, because of uh, this being way too expensive. But fine, I'll just take 1,300 for it, I guess. That's fine, I guess. Let's see. Let's fix stuff. Actually, let's use the verse ones first. <laughs> Having a mark spell next to the mudcrab merchant. I don't actually even remember where the mudcrab merchant is, so it's fine. I have no idea where he is, so it's good. It's all good enough. I have one little journeyman armorers left, which is fine. Oops. Let's just do a little quick save. And, uh, I don't know. What then? I guess I can just travel back to Altrun. Guess I can always do that. What was this place? Clothier. Would a Clothier want to buy something from me? Maybe. Note. Falano, my friend, I was wondering if you could send me an order of those new knit leather shoes you were raving about last night. Come by the shovel anytime for a round on the house. You really must tell me more about your past on Somerset Isles sometimes, although next time I hope you're sober enough to make some sense. Shank. Okay. Hello to you too. That's interesting looking. I want that amulet just because it's very interesting looking. I haven't seen an amulet like that before. Would you like to buy this? Yeah, you're happy enough to buy that. Let's sell the Otrin ring. I don't remember what was special about the Otrin ring. I thought that someone would have been able to... Or it was someone's, but I don't remember who's then if it was. So it's kind of difficult to say. Definitely just sell that. Frost Amulet is pretty expensive too, to be honest. Did I have something else? Light, Sanctuary, Constant Effect Sanctuary. Hmm. I guess that's okay. Would you give me that much? Thanks. You could get all the money for it by just selling it to Scamping Caldera. He has 5k on him, so you need to buy back things from him and add up to selling the bow for 5k. Then you spend like 20 30 minutes just waiting 24 hours and buying selling things back. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't want to be doing the thing that I'll just wait here for that long because it's not very good role playing that I'll just wait and then magically he also suddenly then will get more money. So I don't want to do that. I just. We'll return to him some other time again, and yeah. Even though that would be nice. I wonder why the mages actually have a couple of skulls here too. Anyways. Yeah, I don't just want to do it. Like, if I play it just on my own, then maybe. But specifically when I'm doing a let's play, then it just feels like, eh, I don't really want to do that. 
it's different when you play just for yourself or alone. So then it just feels like, well, I'm just saving time, but here I'm a little bit more trying to roleplay after all, especially. <laughs> it's just a cheap little exploit. Mm. Sure. Sure it is. The rat in the pot. It's definitely in the pot. That's, that's very true from that picture. Was there any decent sailor I could go for here, I wonder? I can always try to visit this trader here, I guess. Or this guy. Were you the sailor? No. You're just maybe fixing stuff here, but not the sailor. But you are, so... You have very little money. I still have even class creeps here for you <laughs> left, but I can always sell you at least something bad, maybe. Oh, something bad. What do I have that is bad? Don't really even have anything that is really bad. Like the Epony arrows, I guess. Well, maybe not. Oh yeah, I guess I can sell that. That's fine. That's fine. I don't need to be keeping it. Skulls are essential for mages. Maybe I should acquire one somewhere. Yep. <laughs> like anyone here rolls a tower level. Mm. Yep, a pretty rare clear day for sure. I do have to admit that it's pretty rare when it is uh, such a clear day. The red on card chill, at least from that picture, looks pretty okay. Eh, I don't know what to sell to you, to be honest. I can guess I can sell these bad little petty gems. And... Yeah, that's fine. I'll just sell those. It's something out of my inventory, I guess. Okay, so I need to be heading to Markon to try to be getting into that location. So let's just start to be doing that then, I'd say. It's not even that clear, but I guess it's somewhat clear to how it could be looking. I wonder, do you guys remember a long time ago I had that one person that I was supposed to find for the Fife's husband, and I never found him. I wonder where he would still be. Would he still be around here somewhere? Hmm. It was such a long time ago. Basically the reason that I started to hate Altrune back then. Or why Felice Aretti did. <sighs> Hello to you two. Yay. One strike, one kill. And yep, that guy. That's why I found a new man by now. <laughs> he was elusive, yes. I've always had trouble finding him, yep. We definitely had trouble finding him. We definitely didn't find him, so I tried. I tried to find him, but I definitely didn't. So... You are apparently friendly. Well, apparently you're not friendly, you just didn't notice me earlier, apparently. Well, I guess I gotta deal with you then, if I must. Slowly but surely. And then there's a Nixon. Mix and Hound. <sighs> and you. Of course there's you. I usually like to actually have a spear as a secondary weapon just for these cases because you can reach better, at least in my opinion, with the spear than with some of these other weapons. Hey, go. Freaking Cliff Razor. I'm just gonna have a little bit of a peek if I happen to spot someone around here somewhere, but uh, otherwise we're pretty much just gonna be heading to the mark on. I just have to... Maybe I should try to be heading there straight more so, so that I wouldn't miss the location. <sighs> Someday my May skill will be good enough to actually hit you. And yes, the elusive man. Um, 
I don't know what he said now or and besides here it's a little bit different this is just a side quest if it was talking about the side quest so it's not like this is blind to me Morrowind so it's it's a different matter with Mass Effect or something if you thought it was spoilery yeah and with this I don't think unless it's about main story but uh, like I think that no one would be telling me about the main storyline but it's a little bit different when we're talking about side quests and especially something like this Elusive man in the mass of Akiremu. I don't know what that means. Elusive man shows up pretty early. Yep. So yeah, um, yeah, I don't think you would have needed to go. Like, if there's something about the main quest line, spoiler here, for the future, then sure. Um, but uh, yeah, don't worry about side quest stuff, please with this game, with Morrowind, because this isn't, like, I have, specifically, if I mark something blind, then it's a completely different situation still, but I played Morrowind so much that it's not exactly something that I could consider blind, even if it's blind the main story, but, uh, otherwise. Oh, it was from Mass Effect, okay, if you say so, because I couldn't see it. Well, unless you talk about Specky mentioning that, well, because I don't know what that even means. I haven't met then that elusive man. I thought that it was so just related to Morrowind. So, that's different then. That's 100% different situation. Because I couldn't know that it was for Mass Effect. That's different. Because I haven't played the Mass Effect for sure too. Any of them. But, like, I don't know or expect there to be anything related to Mass Effect when I'm playing just this Morrowind game. For sure. So that's, uh... Paul Isra. What was the place that I wanted to find? In Darius Manor. That's not exactly that. Maybe we should all stop talking about it now. Yeah, well, it's not like I have any idea about that, so that's, uh, as I said, a little bit different. Abort this discussion, fellas, fellas. Mm. I wasn't properly in that road, to be honest. I need to go and try to go backwards so that I could try to find that location. Are you enemies? No, you don't. Well, apparently you are enemies, which I guess is fine. I think I may have to change the weapon when they're doing all of these spells and all. And then I have even freaking Cliff Razor here fighting me, so that's all good. Good timings and all. Well, at least my blunt weapon skill increased, so that's something. <sighs> you resisted magic. So that's nice. Can I have a fatigue restoration potion? I think I already checked before and I didn't happen to have any. So, very sad but true. Someday I'm gonna hit you, I'm sure. I don't even know who to concentrate in here. When I have the Cliff Razor and new people here and all. So... There you go. You're all dead. Why did you have to go and start to fight against me is the question. I even won you with my crappy freaking mace skills. So that doesn't sound very promising to you guys. Heart heal, thank you very much. Uh, I couldn't even remember when I decided to follow you. I think you were playing massive with one and you were flipping Makos. Uh, yeah, flipping Makos of course. Am I bad? You any good on a maze? Get it? Nope, I'm not good with the maze. Yet. I'm getting there. It's 35. I'm using this just to increase the skill level because it's, after all, related to our level and we can increase these freaking skills that we have on low. And if I just use the long plate, then that would never get us there. And yes, we're still flipping Makos on Sundays. Well, 
I was also, by the way, thinking that I would love to go and finish Mass Effect 1 this year. And uh, considering I will only be able to play next Sunday and not the Sunday after that, that I might go and do something like uh, play Mass Effect first this Sunday, of course, normally. And then maybe on the second spot next Friday, play some, some extra Mass Effect. Just so that we can finish it this year. Hopefully two streams would be enough. But uh, yeah, we would have to see about it then. But I definitely would like to be able to finish it because I think it's pretty close to the end. Uh, the first Mass Effect. But yeah, no problem then. <laughs> Not long for for long anymore though. Soon we'll have to say goodbye to the Mako. Yep, pretty much. And yeah, stupid Aslanders. <laughs> Not goodbye to Mako, yes. Two sprint streams will probably do it. Yep, I guess so. That's at least from what I've understand understood thus far, so it's not like I can be sure, but oh. there you are. I was thinking that someone like you would be wanting to kill me, of course, like always. Who else would ever want to kill me than you, of all the things? How can I have a difficult time locating my levitate spell? Aw, I don't have the spell points for that anymore. Well, that sucks. At least I actually hit you with this this time around, so that's nice. Let's just freaking get up here. Okay, that's nice. We're up. It's just a question which direction I would exactly need to be going, but I'll check back through here with the bridge, I think. Because there's a likelihood it could already be here. I don't know though. Maybe. Maybe not. In the manner that I'm looking for. <sighs> What's attacking me now? Of course it's a cliff razor. What else could it ever be? Oh god. That's three cliff razors. At least I got already three strikes, three kills. That's really nice. That's the ghost fence for sure. Okay. Okay, and then a rat. So many little things is all wanting to kill me. Hmm. Which way to go? I've been watching a guy on Twitch play a Blind Mass Effect trilogy playthrough, and it's pretty great. I can live vigorously through other people and see their reactions for the first time. Yep. Definitely when I also haven't played that before. Morrowind played a plenty. But uh, that one for sure not whatsoever. I don't even, I'm not 100% sure why I never ended up into it. Maybe I disliked the uh, real, it wasn't point and click game, sure. That's one of the things, sure. It wasn't a point and click game. Uh, not point and click. I mean, what's the word? You're not helping me, Cliff Razor, to try to think about the name Isometric. That's what I was trying to think about. Isometric uh, role-playing game, because I played Dragon Age because of the fact already, because it was isometric and I was missing those games. But then I didn't end up playing Mass Effect because it wasn't that style. It could still be indeed good and so on, but I actually have played very little of that type of games that aren't in the end then isometric at least for quite a while <sighs> just die i'm just hunting every breaking cliff racer around here today apparently again <sighs> so many cliff racers isometric yes yes i had some difficulty trying to think what the hell was the name what the freaking a was the name but uh got there finally took a while though <laughs> but like Thinking about Baldur's Gate 2 and such games being my favorites. Although, of course, Wizard 8 is also my favorite, and that's not an isometric game. So, hmm. But on the other hand, it's a little bit different than Mass Effect, where, well, you kind of control only one character. You can tactically say where the other should be about going, but 
it's a little bit different. Huh, I'm not sure where this mansion is supposed to be. Maybe I need to levitate more and try to see the world from atop. I would like to find this mansion though. It's supposed to be between here somewhere. Wherever it is. <laughs> you had to Google isometric. Wizardry is so exceptional. A 3D party RPG. Yep. Not as... Well, there is of course still. We have to take into account that there is. Regardless the... What's the name again? There's Might and Magic 7 and Might and Magic 6 and 8 and so on and forth, which are also party based, but it's very different. It's not nearly as tactical as Wizard 3 8 is, like not even remotely. So it's quite different still. But of course, Might and Magic 7 is also one of my favorite games, but they are still very much old school. RPGs rather than Mass Effect is a lot newer. It's not even if it has some similarities, like also you can still level up all of your uh, people, as in all the party members that you have, and so on and forth. Uh huh, you're just a dreamer. You have betrayed Lord Duggard, take taste his vengeance. Okay, well, is this his vengeance? Because this guy attacked me immediately when you said that taste his vengeance. That wasn't a lot of a vengeance. Dreamer. I see you, false one. Your flesh will feed us all. Sure. It is an hour of awakening. He comes from forth in his glory and his people shall rejoice and his enemies shall scatter like dust. Prophecies say Lord Nerava will come again to try the foreigners from the land and restore the Dunder and Morrowind to an ancient glory. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, I kind of got the mark on and I didn't locate that place yet that I wanted to locate. I have so much difficulty thinking of the right names at the moment, like isometric took me so long. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what the criteria is for being isometric like... Uh, is Rim World isometric? It is isometric, but that's not exactly a role-playing game, so it's a little bit different in that sense. It's not like you could be saying that, well, because city building games are from that point of view that they are isometric and would exactly belong in the same category. I love is those uh, city building games, but it's kind of would be very strange not to have a city building game that would have also the possibility to see from on top definitely at least a city that you're building. So it's a little bit different when we're talking about isometric games that aren't even remotely uh, role-playing games, in my opinion. Tile-based isometric is that pseudo 3D view. Uh, I guess. But anyways, I think it's a little bit different when we are talking about role-playing games or some completely different style of game with an infinite horizon. Well, you know better, Jim Jim, I'm sure. <sighs> Cliff Razor, you really didn't notice me until then. Maybe someday I'll get you. And your friend too. Yay. I got them. Hmm. So anyways, I would still need to locate exactly where that manor would be. It has to be somewhere in here, but exactly where, I'm not sure. Would it be more to the... Well, it can't really be there. I should have been able to see it. So I assume it's somewhere in here, right her. Though... Even though the problem is that there's ghost vents right there. So how can it be in this direction more? It's almost my question. And that's some place, but I doubt it's that. Because that's kind of already almost like in the city. 
There's a group of people here, at least, I guess. <sighs> Another one of you guys. Why? Why must I suffer from trying to kill you guys? Yeah, yeah, and then these guys already acro too when they say Thai Witcher. At least someone did, I'm sure. Sure, there was three of them. Yep. Well. Fine enough, if I must be killing you guys, I guess I must. I don't know why I hit you so much better than this guy, but somehow I did. Yay. Just go away, quick racer. I can't even see these guys when you're on top of there like that. Okay, a few little gold pieces and a few little gold pieces here and there. Eh, guess. Okay, where do I go? Where can I find this place? Crusader, no remorse. Look it up. Isometric action shooter. That's a little bit again different in a sense if it's the a isometric action shooter. It's still played in that type of a style. In a sense, like Diablo 2 would be an um, isometric game for sure. Even though... But it's like you control the one character or the party that goes through an area. In a shooter you also control that. Uh, you don't control people in the same manner, for example, in RimWorld, and you ca don't control anything like that. Well, I guess you can still indeed say building games, for example, would be isometric, from if they happen to be having that view, but it's still not exactly in the same category otherwise. I don't know. I feel like the categories we have are inadequate. Mm. And kind of two ways on categories like that. At the same time, I try to put games in categories, and also I feel like they don't need to be that way. Like really, the line between an RPG and an adventure game is basically meaningless. Sometimes. But on the other hand, in a lot some adventure games you don't, for example, level up or... gain new skills or something like that. Which generally is extremely important in uh, RPG games. You feel some individual can see their own gender. Maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know anymore. I'm confused. Maybe is the best word. I don't know what to think. It's good that you guys do. Well, it's kind of confusing. Like, what to call what and so on and forth. <sighs> Where is the stupid manor that I need to find somewhere in here? I'm just gonna rest. Nick sound. Just go away, please. I want morning. Freaking rat. Oh, then comes the lovely better again. Oh, that's nice and all. Try to get into here, somewhere into the mountains, and try to see if I can locate anything, maybe. <sighs> Stanley Parable, I have no categories for that, sure. That's completely separate sort of a thing, for sure. Uh, Ocarina of Time is still considered an RPG, but today I think RPGs involve some level of decision making that make a difference. Uh, Ocarina of Time can basically always be in the same way with no different outcome. You can get asked by the rancher tailor if you would like to marry his daughter Malon as a joke and no matter the answer you give, you get the same reaction. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's inadequate for sure. There are two kinds of games, the ones you like and the ones you don't. Well, sure, that, that can work. <laughs> yeah, and good luck finding the ones you like with it. Uh, that with the, with the current categories. Mm. Yep, Ocarina of Time mentioned by someone else this time. Could it be somewhere in here? I really
really wish I will find the freaking mansion. I killed these guys in here, but it doesn't look on the map like I would have been in here almost. At all. But I guess I was... Hmm. Where in Nine Hells will I find this freaking manor? This manor is a lot more difficult to find at the time. Maybe I have to consult the thing again, as in the journal, and have a look if there's any better advice where I would need to exactly go. But I don't know for sure. I do not know. Just trying to traverse this difficult terrain somehow. <sighs> but yeah, for example, in Might and Magic 7, it's a fun thing indeed that it there is actually two possible endings. So, uh, fine. Not gonna go there then. Two hours, 52 minutes. Hmm. I have not played Elder Scrolls Legends. No, I have not. What is attacking me? I have no idea again. Well, I could have thought that it would be something like you, but I couldn't see you. <sighs> Wherever you came from, let's die. Hmm. That's a different direction. Like, that's almost the only location that I haven't looked into with the map. And that only has a mountain. I would assume that there should be some way for me to already freaking spot the place, but no. This takes me, takes me into the wrong direction. <laughs> ah, so confusing. <sighs> okay. What was exactly said? Not this one. No. Journal. Banderas in Darus. No. You clicked the wrong thing. In Darus Manor is built in the Bal Isra, named after the Rose of Stone Stair. You can find it on the road from Altrun to Markan. Go there and slay the Redoran Banden in Darus. Bal Isra. I haven't seen Bal Isra. Rose of Stones. There's a lot of little spots here, definitely, that I haven't seen. Paul Isra. And no, that is actually Paul Isra, so it is there, but it's just confusing because, because it's not Manor, it's just Paul Isra. Fine, I'll go there then. And uh, find that Manor somewhere in there. Well, it's good that I looked into that journal. Because it would be more difficult to find otherwise, for sure. And I can just get into here. So, Paul Isra. Kira kind of dropped out of ES at the point of oblivion. Yeah. I don't think Legends is going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think so. Maybe if I actually run out of games to play, then I can look into that. But uh, the thing is, I doubt that's gonna happen. I don't think we're gonna be running out of game, so, you know, I highly doubt that. If someday I actually don't know anymore what to play and I don't have any other games, then we can look into more Elder Scrolls games after <laughs> Morrowind. Okay, so this is Polythra. Fine. Fine enough, if you want to say so. Why can't it just be named Dimension? Oh well. Is this a Finnish joke? An introverted Finn looks at his shoes when talking to you. An extroverted Finn looks at your shoes. Mm-hmm. Rat. I didn't even expect you anymore. Because I expected that there will only be horrible cliffhangers coming and trying to kill me every time. Finish joke for sure. Mm. <laughs> when the world has no other games, sure. That's a good promise to make. Yep. 
Indeed. But yeah, that, that's a good joke. I'm not sure I get it. Does it mean an extroverted fiend doesn't talk to you at all? No. Why does it mean that? What are you talking about? What's difficult to understand? I am hope that someone else will try to explain. Well, here's the Indarus Manor, so we found the right place at the very least. You're not probably the person that I'm looking for yet, so it's the... Who lived here? The Lord of the... Kill Banden Indarus. Sure. So, Banden Indarus. Where would we find a Banden Indarus? Let's close that door behind me. I've come here with completely peaceful intentions. There you are, Banden Indarus. Let's just close it. <laughs> and immediately you decide to start the battle when I just close the door and you're just like, Ha! Ah, you dare come inside my home! Delvani Hortator! I'm the Nera Marine. What hope do you have when you're just trying to punch me with your clothes? Truly. Even if I'm using an inadequate weapon, but still. Truly. <sighs> God damn. I feel that I suck sometimes so badly when trying to kill anyone. Well. The Book of Dawn and Dusk. No need for that. I won't take that. That's a pretty good potion. Yeah, sure. So then just looting whatever I want from his place. So this would be the Red Oran place. I can't say that this is, like, definitely the Hlalu home is in the nicest location if we talk. And especially very close to the Balmora even, so that's very nice of it. But otherwise, it would definitely not be still my choice or the favorite place. But this especially is very... Sure, it's close to Aldrun, but this location is just as bad as the Thelvani one, and then it's even darker because you don't happen to have the lovely tree and all. Look too complex. Can I try to open it with a better lockpick? I was thinking that that probably still doesn't work. Yeah. Even a master doesn't work. Fine enough. I guess that's fine. That's my weapon. Um, sometimes it's so difficult to spot exactly the maze that you have been using. That's my sword. There's the maze. Okay, what do you say? Sure, they do talk to you, and they even lift their face to look at all the way up to your shoes. Yes. Oh, his shoes. Ah, I get it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know proper shoe etiquette. Mm -hmm. Flame Rouge she is just like... <laughs> ah, phew, I thought I clicked on my misspelling of it etiquette, and it's success emoji. Luckily, I just misclicked. Okay, good, good. I guess I gotta be... Can't really rest here. I'm pretty sure, so... Actually, I can rest here. Which is kind of interesting, but that works for me, I guess. Let's just rest then some more and to get all the mana back. Hey, some gold for me. That's all nice. A uh, morning star, meteor. Meteor I definitely haven't read. Sure, I'll take it with me. I don't want to read it now, and I haven't read this either, so sure. Both of those books are something I need to read in the future. Good to know. Uh, yeah. Like, these places look okay and all, but I do have to say that they're not that amazing look-wise still. I do still prefer my Delvani home. Oh. Apparently this place has also Ebony Arrows and all. Just like the Hlal home had. Then just a couple of chests here. I kind of like the idea of having one chest in this sort of at least spot when you could then be placing nice stuff into it. But, uh, oh well. <laughs> Proper shoe emoji. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
I guess that's about it. Nothing happened. I didn't spend the full night and day about there, just hanging around. So, you know. What's this book? The Cantatas of Vivek. Don't remember if I've read, uh, I've read that, to be honest. I don't mind. I'm going already. Why would I like to even stay here with you? You're not supposed to be here, Telvani. Oh, why not? Why should I not be here? Why can't I be where I wanna be? Huh? That's my question. Sounds like they need a professional interior designer. Mm-hmm. Someone is exceptional taste in theatre artifacts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For sure. For sure they would need that. Like, that structure as such is nice, but yeah, this area is just as bad as the Telvani house area for sure. Not that I'm too surprised that they would also end up having a pretty bad location. I wonder, should I then walk back to the Altrun? Maybe. Maybe that would be fine. Then I can maybe even go and sell even more to that freaking... Imp? Creeper. Creeper was the name in the Caldera, and then I could be just going back into to the Satirit Mora and return to Squest and everything, and that will be good. You want to add a Finland command, so what would that Finland command exactly do, Jim Jim? <laughs> you don't know what the text should be. That's indeed a good question. What should the text be? Any good ideas from anyone? What should be a Finland command? I hate you. Can't even see you, rat. But I knew you were somewhere in there. Hello, Nick Sound. Yay, at least you increased my medium armor skill. I'm slowly but surely getting to the next level. God damn it. Can't you just leave me be? Thanks. <laughs> <Better kill it. laughs> it just gives out random profanity in Finis. Yep, that, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I am proud. <laughs> yep, yep, that's... Uh, would have to be pretty proud of that. For sure. Pretty proud. It definitely, it definitely would be something. Hello, Nick Sound. I can barely see you running towards me, but at least I can. Just go away. Thank you kindly. Much obliged. I don't know, by the way, what I will play after Morrowind now. Like, I just want to go and get this quest returned and all that. Then we can probably even end for Morrowind for today. But I have no idea what to play. Um, we could play, of course, RimWorld, but I'm not even sure if I'm 100% in the mood for RimWorld right now for some reason. Not even sure why. It might be because I've actually played too much Heroes 3 and then I actually want to just play Heroes of Might and Magic 3 more. And then I'm just like, well, I'm not in the mood for Rimworld right now, I want to play that game. And that one is something that unfortunately OBS can't even record, which sucks. So, I don't know how to record it. Well, I guess I could record it, uh, the, the HD edition, but that's not quite the same. That's not quite the same. What if we just played Mass Effect? <laughs> what games do you have? Well, I can always try to prepare games. I have 60 seconds even at least um, downloaded and installed. I haven't tried that game out, so that's also something I guess. But yeah, otherwise there's lots of options. I just, if something like 60 seconds would be big, I would just simply have to 
uh, do enough or uh, be away for a slightly longer time so that I could be making sure that it will work fine, basically. But yeah, I don't want to be getting into anything big sort of a game for the very reason that uh, if I would do that now, then that would be kind of... District seat of House Redoron. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it would be annoying because then I would want to be getting into Mass Effect probably next Saturday anyway, so it should be something small. But I don't know if I want to play Mass Effect now for the reason that... Uh, um, like, no one else knows about it. Like, the people who like to watch it on Sundays, Mass Effect, next Sunday I can at least inform them that we will be playing next time Mass Effect on Friday uh, after Morrowind. But uh, at the moment they wouldn't be able to know that, and uh, I would just play it without them knowing, and they wouldn't be able to actually follow it live. So that's the reason why I don't want to do Mass Effect exactly today. So, that's basically the only reason... <laughs> Hero's addiction is a dangerous disease, you gotta have it checked through. Play something relaxing for you. Well, that's that's a good question. That's perfect amount of time for everything. We <laughs> yeah, 60 seconds is enough time for anything. Hey, Torilla Tavataan. It's actually good. Yes, Saten Tenho. That would actually be good for the Finnish Finland command. <laughs> Torilla tavataan perkele. Yep. Yep, I, I think that actually works perfectly. Thanks for that recommendation, Sare. <laughs> Even leaves a few seconds for cuddling after. Aha, uh -huh, Okay, you. Take me back to Caldera, thank you. And yes, that is actually perfect. That's perfect finish. Quote, 100%. So, yeah, that's, that's perfect. I wonder why I didn't think about Torilo Tavata myself at this point. Oh well. Yes. Should have noticed to think about it. Okay. What to do then? What do I want to sell to you? You have 5,000 bucks again. That's very nice of you. I guess I can just sell this one little piece. Again. <sighs> sure. There you go. I get again rid of one little piece. At least I got plenty of gold now. 13k gold. Don't be that close to me, thank you. That could be also an idea as such, even though I think Torel Tavatan is way better, of course. But the idea of uh, needing some more space or something like that when someone is too close, that is pretty finished too, to be honest. That just need to be given a little bit space. But uh, yeah, it's not quite the same thing. Obviously enough. <laughs> I can understand 33% of the words. Mm. It says, meet you at the marketplace, Perkele. Yep. Indeed. Indeed it does. That's the common thing. If Finland is mentioned somewhere, there's always that Torilla Tavataan, like you can find in the YouTube videos a lot often and all that, though. Yo, though. What? Yeah, though. What? What you thinking? Should you need something, I will be happy to oblige. Can any of you actually teach me something? Like a train? That could be nice. An adventurer, I Did you have some duties for me? Well, that guy could basically have something. How can you not see me? Dude, I'm right in front How of your face. You? Apparently I have to be right, 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 right freaking in your face to be able to talk to you. Yeah. Alteration I can learn, so sure, I'll learn some alteration from you. That should be pretty much for a level up too now, so that's nice enough. I need someone to escort the score. Ah, no, 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 no. Maybe someday I will go for an escort mission, but no. No, 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 no. 
Yeah, why? <laughs> why would you say meet you at the marketplace and then say perkele to them? He's really nearsighted. He really is very nearsighted. But uh, why wouldn't you that do that, Jim Jim? It's just like perkele, like a, as a power word there that yes, definitely sort of thing, you know? That's what it means. It doesn't mean that you curse at them exactly. It's just a yes, for sure sort of thing. 100 freaking percent. We're totally in this. Perkele is just something we say. I would think it like that, personally. Plus, Perkele is, of course, the best known word from Finland, probably, so it fits from that sense, too. Wait, Perkele means definitely sometimes? Well... <laughs> depends. It's not exactly like it, it doesn't mean that it's the curse word, of course, but... But, like, if I think about that sort of a sentence, then... I could be kind of adding context to that, kinda. So, no, it doesn't mean that, but in the context matter, I could be thinking that that's why I say it, sort of thing. You know? I don't know if I can explain it, really. Yep. Like, damn right, and something like that, you know? Why do you say damn right? It's damn right. Meet you at the square, damn it. Or damn straight. Yeah, damn straight is more correct there than if you think about it like that. A little bit. It can be a power word imagine out in Yara. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, it's not exactly same as the damn straight, but just think about that context indeed. Yep, damn right. Yep. Ah, lovely sunset again. Sun rising. Yep, yep. Nice, nice. Let's travel to Telmora. Kyllä, perkele. Yes, perkele. Indeed. <laughs> we be pirates, for sure. Why would not? Why not be pirates? Why would someone not wish to be a pirate? Though... I'm just water, walking on water, not exactly fighting on water, very often at least, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm a pirate. But yeah, all the booty. Okay, soon. There's not even loot in that, to be honest. Levitates. Just getting the levitation ready. Do rock and roll and all. Oh, I wonder, I wish that we could be getting the advancement very, 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 very soon. I should probably, hmm. No, I guess I can come and rest afterwards. But on the other hand, maybe I should just take the little nap before. Just because... Yeah, enemies nearby. Well, apparently that guy is pretty nearby, sadly enough. So just a small little rest so we can level up. You have ascended to level 28. The results of hard work and dedication always look like luck to saps. But you know you've earned every ounce of your success. So yay, intelligence, willpower, and agility, I guess. My agility kind of sucks after all. You know, when I came to Europe, I never expected to be hanging out with a bunch of fiends. Mm. Learning your ways. Yep. Of course, there's others too. Blame isn't here. And, uh... Yeah, not everyone is from Finland. Quite a few though, yes. Quite a few are from Finland, exactly. Don't really care about fighting against Okrim. It's all the way there though. Kind of took a wrong spot to be starting the levitation, but okay, it's fine. <laughs> you learn quickly, yep. Very privileged, Jim Jim. It's an honor. To be fair, the shoe staring thing is very engineered. <laughs> mm. Prepare thyself for the field test, Jim. <laughs> yes, when we actually have to meet up someday, not 
for a while for sure. But someday there will be then a field test for Jim Jim for sure. There needs to be one then. Whenever that happens to be going on. <laughs> I'm not going to have to eat the salmiakki stuff or whatever. It's salmiakki, not sumak. What the hell is Sumaki supposed to be? Anyways, Arion, yes, I've taken care of Pandes Indarus. So Pandes Indarus is dead. The Red Orans will not be so haste to expand their territory now. You have done well, Valensaretti. Got more shores for me? I am prepared to declare you a Magister of the House Delvani. Oh, can you do that? Since Gotren's untimely death, none of the councillors have tried to take his title for themselves. I doubt anyone would challenge your claim to be the new Arch Magister of the House Telvani. Congratulations, Arch Magister. Woohoo! We're an Arch Magister now. You are the new Arch Magister of House Telvani. Woohoo! What do you ask of me, Arch Magister? Yeehaw! Woohoo! I'm the Arch Magister of the House Delvani! Arch Magister. Yep, yep. I guess that's the highest rank that one can get into then. In here. I guess. I wonder how did I get the freaking. Uh, Trumor creature into my place. Did I need to go to Santrit Mora and try to talk again about upgrading my place, maybe? Maybe I can go and try to talk about upgrading my stronghold more. I'm not actually sure. I have to go and check it out now immediately before I forget. <laughs> All hail Arch Magister, indeed. Yes, how nice at least something to look forward to. If you get a chance to try one. Mm -hmm. But I feel apart from the language I could pass for Finnish. Mm -hmm. I can sauna, I think. Well, what's there to think about? Just do it. Hey, my acrobatic skill increased because I dropped. <laughs> Everyone can sauna, most people even survive it. Yeah, yeah, it's easy peasy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. It's funny to be jumping from so high that then you take damage, but... So I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure you'll be fine, Jim Jim. Whenever you go into the sauna. You've been through South and Sina Shammer. I should be fine. Mm. <laughs> sauna with birch branches. Yep, that's a uh, that's a classic way, of course. I mean, my body went into shock. Ah, even shock. That was fine eventually. Uh, thanks for the follow, Cyber HR. I think. So thanks. I should have just gone immediately, to be honest, to Satrik Mora. Why did I just come into here? Oh well, it was just one gold piece, so not big deal, for sure. Okay, here we are. The sun is really beautifully setting again, like it always does in here in Morrowind. Print. Just because. Why not? And then I'm gonna go and check if there's anything more that I could be doing for my house. Because I would definitely, definitely love to. 100%. I wonder if I can say anything to my mouth as well. Could they do something for me? I don't know, really. At least I'm at level 28 now, so it's decent. It's getting there, a little bit higher at least. It's kind of a long way to go, but... Reputation 47. Mm. You never remember which was uh, Western Finnish and which was Eastern. Vihtar Vasta. I, to be honest, don't know. I'm just more. I know Vihtar better, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I think Vasta is Eastern, but not 100% sure. <laughs> of course, your first sound experience being with 
this crew first, everyone just get naked and goes into that 100 Trixies at least and then they start hitting you with branches. <laughs> hitting with branches, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that would be a little bit uh, tough, I think. Oh, of course I'll do a show for my patron. Tell you what, I know where Master Nelot keeps a hidden ring of equity. Oh, I could be taking something from Master Nelot, Nelot instead. Now tell me about this ring of equity, Fast Eddie. The ring of fast equity is well hidden in Tel Naka, Nelot's tower here in Zadrit Mora. I'll wedge it for you if you bring me the key to Tel Naka. Master Nelot has a key and many of his servants probably have keys as well. They're all the same. Just find one of these keys and bring it back to me. Oh, and then you would go and steal the Ring of Equity for me. That sounds pretty decent deal, to be honest. I can think about doing that next time, especially considering that he kinda, well, wasn't quite as nice to us as I would have liked, to be honest. And yeah, Vita definitely, I would assume, is the western one. It's an immersive experience, that's for sure. Gets the blood flowing. <laughs> yep. Mm, yeah, this was the right way. Damn it. What damn it? I'm sure it will be fine, Jim Jim. I'm sure. I'm sure it will be just fine. So yeah, it's here, the door, port. I get suspicious when all the Finns agree. <laughs> you don't want to offend our culture, do you? Hmm, that's indeed. Do you want to do that, Jim Jim? Anyways, hello, Lulena Leran. Are you here to discuss your stronghold? Yes, I would like to improve my stronghold. Yes, I am prepared to build the last stage of your stronghold. Your stronghold will be the first since the fall of Restain to be guarded by a trumer Animan Kuli. Yeehaw! Yes, I want that. There is a book, Secrets of Trumer Animan Kuli, which has been lost for many years. I know that this book lies in the vampire-invested ruins of Calum Dios. When I have this book in my possession, your stronghold will be the first in ages to be guarded by the Trumer Centurions. I don't think that I've been here, so I don't think I have indeed that book yet, even though I had one interesting book that was a little bit hack designs and all. So where would this Calum Deus be? To get to Calum Deus, go south from your stronghold until you reach a river of lava. Follow that river to the west until it ends. You will see another pool of lava ahead of you. Gollum Deus lies beyond that pool. So, that will be definitely my mission for the next time. To be able to get a Tume Animan Kuli. Definitely. That will be nice. I can have my own golem guard in my place. Ah, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'll be very happy with that. The trick is to offend everyone equally. Mm. I have offended many cultures, but I'm not against it. Mm. I think I achieved that. Mostly you can offend the Dutch by comparing them to Germans. Germans to the French, friends to anyone. <laughs> or in this case, Finns to Swedes. Oh no, yes indeed. Don't go there. I'm not at that level. Mm. Well, I, uh, 40. There we go. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching some more Morrowind. And uh, we'll have some more then next Friday. So, one more time at least before the holidays, Christmas holidays. I'm not sure if there will be more streams then for Morrowind exactly this year other than next Friday. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, at least then next year we will be of course continuing i can't promise what date but we'll see we'll see we'll see exactly anyways yes i hope that it was fun 
So thank you everyone for watching here on Twitch streams and later on in YouTube as well. And uh, I'll see you soon then for more, as in next Friday, and then at least next year. Okay, bye bye, thanks. <laughs>